Yeah. yeah. How... By the global law of go fuck yourself, if you attack me, all your shit becomes mine. That's oh, yeah. how it works in an RPG. Yeah. Well, it was kind of the opposite in Divinity, if you remember. Because yeah. yeah, all of your stuff is ours, and then they got all a bit RC, and then, you know. <laughs> then it became ours because they attacked us and we killed yeah. them. Yeah. Repeatedly. Uh, yeah, how are you guys doing today? You okay? Doing good. good. Uh, I had my. I bought a full set of RF blues for a LARP event. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. ooh, okay, I'm mm -hmm. going to tell you about a LARP event. Yeah. I had a fairly standard weekend. Uh -huh. Didn't get up to much. Uh, dropped a load of fake checks. Pretended to run a fake railway company and betrayed all my friends and associates for immortal life as a vampire. Ah. Standard weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do when you got to the LARP? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was really really good fun. Like uh, that, uh, flying lead nightmare was the name of the game. So it was basically well. um, cowboys versus vampires in the old west. Uh -huh. And the character that I was playing basically realised that the player base were really really disorganised. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> so um, on receiving an offer from the head vampire, hey, we're going to expand the family. Do you want to become one of us? Basically went fuck yeah, sign me up. <laughs> uh -huh. So betrayed all my friends and associates for eternal life as a vampire. Great weekend, great fun. If you're not laughing, you're missing out. <laughs> cool. Well, over here today, I've been reading through about 47 pages, which doesn't sound like much, but about 47 pages of mostly dense legal documents. About 30 pages of which were just like uh, A4, just dense terms and conditions. Is that for the sexual harassment case? Yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to talk about that. Shit. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know that NDA we all signed? <laughs> we'll start the stream with you. Well, you fucked it. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, so this is this is for solicitor number two. Oh, it's just the onboarding process. Right. I'm just going so, through all the terms and signing them. and yeah. Forgive me. Out of the loop. Uh, solicitor number one not, so not working out? So he just out? dropped me. Like, I, it sounds really dodgy. It sounds like I did something wrong, but he just randomly dropped me. Oh, it's right. because you weren't moving forward, and he didn't want to spend any more time with a client that was standing up for their rights, basically. N no, it's the opposite. I was no? I was moving forward. I, I legit sent him said, okay, what do I do now? I want to buy it. And he said, well, you got to seek another firm if you want to buy it. <laughs> really? It's, it's the total opposite. Yeah, this is, this is what's so weird. Like, I, I don't know, did I did I say something wrong? Did I insult his mother accidentally? Yeah, I mean, like, that's did you get dodgy. the whole driveway resolved? <laughs> no, so that's that's the thing. So it, 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 we didn't get it resolved, but it's got to the point where my my trust in the seller has dropped. So I, I'm, and I've got some worst case estimates from the surveyor. So essentially, I'm just going to, worst case scenario, I'll just rebuild the whole thing. Yeah, you'll just suck it and do it. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm tired of the vendor stalling. I just want to get this done, done with. Right. Um, I wonder if that's like a genuine strategy where they just drag it out for so long. At some point, you just go, oh, honestly, just fuck it. Let's just, just maybe, just, just go. Maybe. Do you know what I mean? Like, it did, it just, yeah. it's designed to wear on your patience to the point where, like, you, you can no longer wait for things to be like ideal yeah. or in the right way. It's just at some point, you're just like, for God's sake, let's just, yeah. let's just do something. So the, let's the problem just complete is, so that I can sort it out myself. Yeah. yeah. The, my tenancy is over, so I, I'm on a rolling periodic tenancy. So I got They know. Yeah. Unfortunately, they know that. So they know yeah. that I'm, my time is out. It's either commit or pull out. So I, yeah. Fair enough. I, I'm quite yeah. lucky, to be fair, because the rolling contract I'm on is just, yeah, that's just how it is at the moment. Hmm, good. Um, yeah, uh, that, so that means, uh, so I can give them a minimum of a month's notice if I want to. I just literally bow out. Thank um, you, Toby. The, and landlord, the landlord's like and uh, just and a Bopper. couple that own it, uh, rather than any kind of firm or anything like that. Yeah. So it's it's quite good. I quite like it. My landlord is a retired chiropractic surgeon who won't let us go into a rolling and makes us sign the contract yeah. every single fucking year. Yeah, that's and exactly. It's so irritating. And I've been trying to convince them that no, I'd like to move, but they're like, no, a year or nothing. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. Eventually, I managed to convince them, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get this done quick. Yeah, yeah. You're anyway. You have to replace all the carpets. Yes, so I'm, I'm going to do that. Um, anyway, should, ah. we, should we Baldur's Gate it? Yes, we shall yeah. gate of a bald I feel... but, uh, so, I, social I've never... 
I've never rented, so I have no idea the pain. Okay, yeah, to, to try yeah. to avoid it like the plague yeah. if you can. But on, yeah. the problem, the problem is, is that like with the renting rates at the moment. Sorry to be off balls. Yeah, again, okay, but with, okay. the, with the renting market, the state that it is, the private renting market, is that you're going to end up with a lot of people who are just chronic renters because yeah. it's impossible to kind of really save. Yeah. When you're when you're like because of how expensive renting a place is. The rent trap. Yeah, exactly. So you can't. So there's going to be there's, uh, genuinely like kind of concerning, really. But there's going to be an awful lot of people from, I guess, my generation and maybe the generation just before mine. They were going to get to retirement and they're going to have no home. Yeah, <laughs> I, in, I, like, they, I feel no, a bit dramatic. Paying, like, yeah, yeah, I feel a bit dr dramatic explaining it. But it's like it's one of these things. It's one of like the bricks in the wall type situation where what happens a generation from now? Like it's the sort of thing that's going to strain. It's going to strain like democracy. As in, when you've got lots of people who just have nothing to lose. Yeah. They, they're not invested in their residence because they've just been, they've been held down their whole life, you know? Just, they've got no money. They've got no nothing. Yeah, anyway. Just, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Interesting. Smart, yeah. yeah. We'll, just, we'll just bury our head in the sand <laughs> as, as a problem for tomorrow. Until it all explodes. Tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Let's go. And then we're let's waving the red flag. this house. We've killed the owner. Let's go break <laughs> shit. Yeah, let's go yeah, let's this old lady's go home. So... So for the for the viewer's benefit, a nice old lady was offering us. What was she offering us? Um, I think she was offering to remove our tadpole. Wasn't that was she? it, and we beat her up because yeah. we're mean. Yeah, we beat her with a stick, uh, and we shot her full of arrows and used magic on her. Yeah. Oh, and she was an evil hag. She and was she an was evil, an evil like, hag. Yeah, yeah, evil sort of like monkey's paw type person yeah. that would like give you it basically preying on vulnerable people and dangling sort of a solution to whatever problem they have in front of them, only for it to be some weird catch twenty two. Yeah, where the, the, the yeah. yeah what they wanted was uh, yeah not not what she was giving. You know, she was giving like a, a technical solution to the problem. We actually encountered a load of people in the basement of this place, like a cave that runs under the building, mm. uh, of people who had, uh, you know, uh, asked for, you know, yeah. powers, yeah, or for something from her, and uh, yeah, they'd uh, gotten what they wanted in Mistress a terrible fashion. Mistress of the fashion. night and friends, there once was a beautiful woman. Men and women alike traveled across the land to earn her hand in marriage and under win her heart. Her mother despaired, for she wished her daughter to find love and happiness. And then her mother died. The woman cried and cried. Her suitors stopped calling. Her friends stopped writing. And still she cried. You poor child, Shah whispered in her ear. They only wanted you for your beauty, for your charm, for your grace. Now that grief has replaced your charms. None care for you, none but I. The woman spoke to Shah who listened. She prayed to Shah who answered. For the first time in her life, the woman had a true friend. And Shah asked her to take a vial, a small vial, and an innocent vial. She took the vial to a man. The man filled it with a liquid and told her to drop it into a well. The woman did. She wanted Shah to love her, to be proud of her. And then people became sick. People died. But Shah loved her, and the woman loved Shah. Now men and women alike travel across the land to see her, not because she is beautiful, not because she is charming, but because she is a high priestess of Shah, and her word is law. That was an interesting book to find in this particular establishment. Holy shit. Who's Shah? Uh, a uh, goddess of some uh, kind, I imagine. I'm going to pick that up because I'm building a book collection. Let's go loot the deeper bit. Yes, let's go to... Yeah, oh yeah, because there's those people... Sorry, that's what I was getting at. So there's those, there was people in the basement that had received power. There was like a guy that was like... Uh, who'd asked for like eternal sight or something. And he could just see his demise yeah. in his future. And he'd basically gone mad. So maybe he's still down here. I mean, it's possible, it's a right? Friendly icon. Uh, hang on. Oh, there's people down here. Yes. Yeah. 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 Lorin. That was his name. <laughs> I, I kind of. I, yeah. That's right. I went boo. <laughs> oh, you're in conversation. Yes, it's Lorin. Is the hat gone? Uh, high elves God. that have gone mad. Tell me she's gone. Oh, please. Yeah, she's dead, mate. You're safe for now. May she burn in the nine hells. The things she did. The things she made me do. Vile. Disgusting. Good gods. You. You're the one. The mind flayer. Yes, you are? Yes, I am, yeah. I, I, basically, I am. Not if I can help it, mate. I've not turned yet. Thank you, you idiot Do you still pirate. have the gift of sight? Can you still... See my future? No. The hag's gift is gone, but it's it's going to happen. Soon. Thank you, Oris. I saw you screaming. 
covered in your own insides as that that thing bursts out of your skull. Oh dear. Well, we you can just quick load. Skin yeah, ripping yeah. from your body, and then you butcher all the check. Everyone, <laughs> everyone around you. Thank you, Oris. Thank you very much, Oris. Why should I trust you? Or, in fact, the hag's magic? Yeah. Hag magic, it might be. But it's never been wrong. Not once. I'm so sorry. I can't stay. You're too dangerous. But I hope... I only hope it's a quick death. I suppose if, if you can't stop it, I suppose that's all you can ask for. Yeah. Um, All right. Magron, the headless person, is in stasis, but I think they're dead because they didn't have a head uh, yeah, attached no, to their I body. Think all of these were yeah held together by some sort of magic power, like this skull. Oh, that's... Efren's oh. here. Yeah. In chat. Oh, oh no. he's all right. No. Why ain't I petrified? Huh? Oh God! Oh, this guy had a deadly disease. Oh, oh, uh, this, oh, this this guy had a disease and he wished for a cure, so she froze her in stasis, froze him in stasis, oh, petrified yeah. him. Oh no. Uh, the hag is dead. What? How how am I still breathing? I have the bite. What is the bite? The picky. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Your insides end up on the outside. Petrification stops the spread. I was on death's door, but now I feel. Thank you, Dark Star. I feel Thank great. You. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was her magic after all that did the bite. Oh no. Uh. Launder, launder's bite. Doing an arcana check. This arcana is a prospect. check. Yeah. Yeah, it probably this... makes sense considering you're good at Arcana. Remember to cough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bend over. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, I'm gonna use the uh the, the magic hand for that. Uh there we go. <laughs> oh uh, just uh, your Oh bollocks, right. Um I declare you well. I don't it's it's really eight. You <laughs> wanna burn my inspiration. You can't detect anything. You have no explanation for his good health. I suppose I should count my blessings. Hi there, our boy. Hi there. Most ain't so lucky. I don't fancy hanging around here. But thank you. And best of luck. Yeah, the hag probably caused it to get him here. Let, yeah, let, let then, me talk to the head lady over here. Uh, she's dead. She's dead? My she's not gonna hedge. Uh, she wished then. for the mind of a genius. I can still hear the hag. That silly head. Rust me. Oh, it's just like a description, yeah. Okay. Just like na narrative, I think. Yeah, a headless corpse preserved no, through esoteric magic is what the effect says, so I think she oh. is dead. There's a skull here. My yeah, yeah. Yeah, There was ah. a mirror, mirror here. He was staring into a mirror. I'm um, carrying so, too yeah. much. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, what's this? Got a random oh, basket. The blinded elf is dead. He's dead? Yeah, the elf here is dead. Oh, uh, what about the... Ah. Uh, what happened to the, the, the man who was a door? Um, I is guess he okay? Uh, he's vanished. Um, he's vanished? Yeah, but he's not here being a door anymore. I assume that he's... Starford, I guess. Hooray! He's okay! We did he's it! Okay, yeah! A thief! Tried to Did we ever from rescue Andy. any all of the people now here that had their max? Uh, yes, rescue. We freed them in one way or another. Uh, yeah, yeah, we killed them. Look at all that 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 puddle of freedom. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of like yeah. I've got these whispering masks on, but I feel like they should just be. I, 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 they feel like cursed artifacts. I'm I not touching like should, those. Yeah, collapse collapse this cave on them and never yeah. speak of it again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not right. touching those. Yeah, I'm getting out of the this this shit hole. Yeah. I I have two of them on me. Are you saying that we just throw them off a cliff somewhere? I I think yeah, we should find a, a the deepest part of the ocean and chuck them in and never speak of them again. Do you know mm. what I mean? I, so... 
agree. Let me see if I can grab the rest of them off these people. Yeah. Uh, and then we can... Okay. But yeah, so so right. far so good, I think. So yeah, as it as it is, uh, we're obviously um, exploring as much as we can of this mm -hmm. part of the, um, the run, I guess, that we've crashed on in the Nautiloid. We're exploring every corner of it before I think our road takes us into the Underdark to Moonrise yes. Towers. So for the audience's benefit, the reason that we're going to the tower is that there's some sort of plot concerning something called the Absolute, which is... We think a cult or a god or some shit. Yeah. And it has something to do with the tadpoles in our brain. It's all being controlled from the tower, and we have two routes to get there. One is over the surface, called the uh, going through something called the Cursed Land, which I assume is like the, probably, Scunthorpe uh, or something. Birmingham, yeah. Birmingham. So we're going to get our car nicked. So alternatively, we go into the Underdark, and we did go down there once. And didn't it well, went well, guys? It really went yes. well. Um, I, don't, yeah. I, I had a bad dream, and in that dream, a giant floating eye. Yeah. Um, how, how long did we last in the Underdark, just to quantify it? <laughs> I uh, mean, we managed to kill some Minotaurs, um, but yes, uh, I, I don't want to uh, face that again. Well, we uh, need to face we, that again. We do need to face that again. So we need to kill it again. We need to kill we it to, for the once. Uh, once. We yeah. need to literally kill it once. And not and get our asses handed to us. Kill it for the plot. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm just thinking, just taking a look at the map, we've mm -hmm. got um, an area of, uh, on Discovery, uh, just north of us, there's like uh, just a bit of fog of war there. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I can't really see any other major roads. Uh, by the Burning Tavern, there's an area that says travel through the mountain pass, so all the way north there's a quest marker in the middle of the fog, oh, so yeah. I'm assuming there's something out that way. Yeah, we could have, uh, un unless that's just the route that goes to the uh, uh, Scunthorpe. Yeah. Looking yeah. at the, the map earlier, there were kind of three places that I was think of, thinking of, and there was mm -hmm. one. Can you ping it? Place a marker down. Yeah, you placed a marker down. Down. called one. Uh, okay. And um, they're the ones with the stars in he's making. Uh, yeah. And then um, kind of three, kind of over here. Uh, where's three? The three. Like, there there's a is. little yeah. bit of yeah. yeah. There's definitely coast yeah. there, so we should kind of fill out, fill out, fill well, out the black on the map so that we know what's there and what's but, not there. Uh, I think two, as you wrote it, um, is is the closest. So let's jog over to could, marker two. Yeah. Is is a trader on the way? Because I've got lots of stuff from the hag that could be sold and fights yes, them before so it. So do I. Um, um, so we, the there's the Zenterim trader, uh, the 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 guy. You know that that like network of. Uh, Thank you, N Seeker and Vesti I call them network of. I think These they're slave traders. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! You're right. Elves trade. Okay. Oh shit! Oh oh fuck me! There's Should we take the, take the path maybe? Um yes. <laughs> yes One of them were laid by the red caps. Yeah, these, this entire swamp uh, had the illusion of being oh. a rich, a rich, lush sort of like orchard mm. type place. Um, yeah, I've got an open wound. Thank you, Rybite and Ender Seeker. Thank you very much. Creature recently cut itself. You don't really have anything to. Slashing damage. Should be okay. I mean, I can healing oh, word you. Yeah. It's really bad. What is that noise? Oh right, it's, it's your zombie. zombie. Yeah, it scared yeah. me then. Uh, yeah, I probably should like remove his cap. jaw or something. Put a sock in it. Oh, I got failed perception, perception check. check over Ooh. here. Oh. Oh, a burrow. What's in the burrow? Very perceptive. Uh, a backpack oh. of some gold, a silver ringer, a dark ring, a mud mephit wing, and a sylvan stone. Cool. Grab it all. Ah, yeah. Open wound is starting to Good rot. Look. Yeah. I've got a festering injury. Oh, no. What well, nice knowing oh, you. Oh, this is uh, a dead end. Yeah. There's a berry bush there. What's on the berry bush? Raspberries. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Okay, so we've kind of cleared nice. off. I think we can go up this way. Yeah, back into the blighted village. That's right. We were going to fight the gobbos here. Oh, for yes. For the sake of uh, easy passage for the caravan. Yes. yes. But I think let's get that ticked off, shall we? Yeah, let's yeah. Kill, kill some stuff. Kill some gobble of oh, yes. oh yeah, there's all this alcohol here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not standing that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get up on the ladder. All right. 
Yeah, and I Where think I'm going to do the same. And... I'm going to go threaten her by standing next to her. To talk to them. Oh god, yeah, there's a couple of trackers here. I'm happy to talk to them if you want me to talk to them. Because I, I talked to them last time. I managed to talk our way in. So. Wait, where are you guys? I'm up where? on the. I'm up are on you the on roof. the roof. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm all getting right, all Assassin's Creed. I am. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to collect the feathers, right. otherwise the mum mm, won't talk um, to you. Can I kick things off? Because I've got a fire a uh, barrel of fire. Oh, yeah, to... sure. Uh, I have entered a basement through a set of shabby wooden doors, but I think we've already been down here. Probably that leads to one of the routes yeah. to the Underdark. Yeah. Okay. Right. right. Well, I think right. it's crossbow time. Uh, what, one second before we begin. Our ball in the chat. His mum's watching and she's 69 today. She wants us to say happy birthday. Happy nice. birthday. Happy uh, birthday, our ball's mum. 69. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Sorry. Nice. That... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's his mum. Sorry about that, mate. Uh, Can right. Happy birthday, Mrs. Arbol. Um, See, now that we've said everybody... that, you're going to have to explain what it means. <laughs> You're welcome. Is everybody in position. Yes, I think Ready. so. Ready. Okay. Uh, I would suggest crouching so that you can uh, don't have to join the immediate <laughs> yeah. turn timer. Do you think she's suspicious, Digby? No, no, no not sure. at all. No, right. not anything. at all. Right. Okay. Three, so I've got two, one going out, one firebolt going out on an oil barrel. Uh -huh. Ah. And a <laughs> <couple> <laughs> Oh, I failed my stealth check, but we did, uh, we did commence the battle early. <laughs> we yes. cut, cut our fucking head off. Ooh. Uh, hold on, I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty well here. Let me, uh, just see if I can't kill some more. Ooh. Look at him doing pretty well. Okay. You can, do well, you need us, Ezio? Um, so, uh, I'm gonna, I think, maybe, we'll see. This, this wound is getting rather nasty. It's now, uh, yeah, full-on flesh rot. I've got, like, necrosis happening. Mm. Really not doing very well. Um, uh, right, what I'm gonna do then, um, obviously, because it's the first turn in combat, uh, mm -hmm. I am going to use my dreadful ambush ability. 6 to 22 damage. I'm gonna shoot it at this goblin tracker here, I think. In fact, no, I'm gonna take the goblin booyah off the uh, table, I think, because she looks like a buff, like, mage-type person. So mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot her in the face with a crossbow. Good 15 shot. damage, and she is gone. Then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dreadful ambush hide ability to crouch over here, and then I'm going to try and slip away somewhere where they hopefully won't be able to see me. Try and tiptoe over here, see who I can find. I really don't look very well. My skin's all black and bloody. Mm. I right. think there's only one left, isn't there? I think possibly. With that, seven there's, health? One, there's a bugbear down here by me that I'm going to twat on my turn. Yeah, he's but sleeping. there we go. Yeah, no, no, fuck him. He's, he's going to wake up and he's going to hurt someone. Yeah. Right. And oh, my yeah. Dirge is inspired. Are you in conversation? Um, no, I, I just killed, uh, how many have I done? One, two, three, four. I've killed five goblins so far. Huh? Dirge is in a separate combat encounter. Is it? Because yep. we are fighting a single ranger who is above us. And because I use my attack to, uh, well, attack, I can't really do anything now. So I'm just going to end my turn. There's a ladder here. <laughs> With a few arrows. Oh, he's shooting through a tiny little hole thing. in the tiles. Look at that. Cheeky little thing. Ooh. Okay, uh, sorry. So Dirge won his combat encounter. So we got we got some little victory dudes there. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the goblin tracker, I guess, is just finishing up here. There we go. Right. There's a ladder uh, over here that you can get to the roof. Ladder that I can use to get oh, to the Oh, you're just going to absolutely super. Oh, I was, was going to just fucking try it. Can I? Um, so if you double click it. So wait there. Before you click. I don't need your ladder. Oh, there you go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'm going to use. Uh, where's Rush? Hang on a minute. Rush attack to just go. Surprise, motherfucker. They're off balance. Didn't kill him. Oh, you kill stealing <laughs> motherfucker! You couldn't deal with one goblin. You couldn't give me one goblin out of like seven nope. here. You had to take every nope. single one. Yep. Greedy bastard. All right. <laughs> Do we want to give the bugbear a really rude, 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 rude awakening? <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday! Um. <laughs> nice. Oh, 
Oh my god! Loot, 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 loot. We are Amity. slightly Jesus overpowered Christ. for this area. Yes. You jumped off a um, building. Uh, you jumped off a building to get uh, it's a guy in a loincloth. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we've left any of them alive. I think we've it was finished. only a small yeah. detachment here. I mean, we would have been killing yeah. those giant trolls, but like, I think we convinced them that we're sort of well, bros. Digby's we? like got the the whistle that summoned them like, when when we need them. So we should summon yeah. them on the final boss when we're fighting God. Summon yeah. the ogres. Summon the ogres to fight I, God. I agree with this. I would maybe think that they don't exist out of Act One, but I don't know that for certain. So. Well, I, mean, I, I, I say we test it. I think it's just for comedy's sake. For comedy's sake, I'll right. hold on to the horn until, <laughs> okay, until okay. the very end. <laughs> so, or um, I can give it to you, Lump, because it's Lump's war horn. Uh, like, follow what, me. So I blow my own horn. Follow yeah. me back to uh. the alcohol spill, because that's where uh, Digby marked number one. Right. Gareth marked number one, so we'll head down this way. Got a, got a nice wee bit of experience for that. Yeah. Oh, God, you look fucked up there, Q. Yeah, no, I'm really not doing very well. Do you, uh, do you need a healing? Uh, you need oh, me to heal you because I can. Dead body. There's a guy called Gomwick. Mushrooms. Oh, uh, we can talk to Scratch. I've got to speak with animals on. I'll talk to the dog. Okay. Dog. There's a dog. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, there's right, a dog. Oh, is it eating? Yeah, that's I'm a lot of moving, blue. stranger. Yeah. Quietly. What happened here? I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. Oh, don't don't hurt the dog. Be nice. I'm not an enemy, I promise. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for convincing. I don't want to hurt the dog, no. Oh! Uh, okay, because the because this dog may attack us, I'm going to use the inspiration oh, to I roll again. It's a dog. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt the dog. Shoot the pooch in the face. Yeah, there we go. Success by one. Mm. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. <laughs> Why is it the dog? Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. A dog, dog with a voice is weird instead of cute. I yeah. don't think he's going to wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. What's your name? He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. Yeah, it's a bit weird talking to animals like this. What, yeah. what happened to your friend exactly? We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten. Yeah, evil. Knowles. Yeah. Knowles got him by the you sound of the things. Creatures he describes. Yeah. Look at you. Knowles. Could be Lump as well. Uh, come on, you can travel <laughs> with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. Hmm. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Oh, good dog. You're welcome, little dog. Yeah. Now I'm going to loot your master's corpse. <laughs> uh, he's got letters on him. Uh, some herbs and stuff. I'm going to go and Come pick on. up mushrooms. Are you going to speak with really? Jay? <laughs> well, we need Have to find him. out what he's doing there. Such a fucked up dude, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the corpse, the corpse we come across, you just start lastly. having a conversation with it. Not, not uh, natural. Who are you? Uh, where are you from? From Trill. Why were you in the forest? Let this delivery to Baldur's Gate. Oh, he's a postman. Hmm. Not a postman. He's not wearing shorts. Uh, yep. Where'd you keep the letters? In I bag. Okay. Standard issue. Yeah, he's a postie. Uh, yeah, well, I'm the. Back of Knowles' claws, teeth. Right, I'm the done with it. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Uh, I'll read the letters then, shall I? As well. Sounds like it is legitimately third class post because nothing yeah. I ever post third class gets there. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Personal note. Gomwick, be doubly, doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I've received more reports of attacks on travellers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger 
winding up face down in a ditch. Watch yourself, better late than never, Postmaster General Danzo. Well, he's face up in a forest. Soft letter. Davin, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after Ooh. his father. Thank Come you back and Sirion. see us as soon as you can get leave. Love, Flora. Well, fuck. He's Well, that boy's an orphan now. No, no. Tough um, letter. That wasn't Goran who said it. That's just mail you're reading. Uh, oh, it's to Davin. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, Tough letter. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city, not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where Um Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I'll know when I'm safe. S. Any more? Interesting. No, only, he only had three letters on him. All right. Let's go follow what? the others. Uh, What's an owl yeah. there? Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a cross between a grizzly upscaled and then it fucked an owl. What's okay. that? Sorry, uh, sorry, I've come down here, so I noticed the cat. Sorry, there was just one tiny little black bit of fog of war left, and I've noticed some tracks. Ah. Got, apparently Social said it was they were owl bear tracks, and I'm trying to figure out, is it a bear-sized owl or an owl-sized bear? It's an owl-sized <laughs> bear owl. It's a bear-sized owl. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. That has the body of a bear, the head of an owl, and is twice as grumpy. Okay. I say we go and explore. Yeah, let's kill an owlbear. Right, hold on, let me save the game for the shenanigans. I mean, I'm right. all for exploring, but... Right, can we Think of all the stuff that then? an owlbear might have. An owl? I mean, what's it going to have? Books! Oh, an owlbear. Nice. Owls oh, like yeah. books? I don't Why know. would an owlbear have I don't know book? where I'm going with that, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. What do owlbears have to talk about? <laughs> and there's an eviscerated goblin here and a oh. skeleton. Yeah, eviscerated. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, oh, there's shiny shit. There is. Oh, yeah, Q. Temple. Look. Down the edge. Yeah, there's a box. A gilded shiny chest. Shiny shit. Okay, and, uh, I'm dissolved. sold. Yeah. Let's oh, religion look. failure. Looks like there's a little shrine oh, over there. Oh, we've all failed uh, the religion speaking. check. There's healing. There's healing. Ow! The chest is a trap on it! Its contents, Ouch! Ow! Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank you, magic ma ma magic Power music cord. man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chest. I can do music too. Blowing right. Lump oak day chest. Ow. Coped it with his face. Uh, he got hit with feel. a fiery blast that went into his eyeballs. Yeah. Dum dum dum. Uh, he did go pass an arcana deck. He should have known better. There is a oh. silence aura on the chest. But it did not help the resident thief get into the box. How long do you think it's going to take him? He looks like he's going to shoot it with his bow. <laughs> hey, will it help us? Will it hinder? We will not know. I think we're going to be here for the next half hour. Every found okay, this box is it's it's got a hell of a lot. Mm. Uh, thinking cool. King of ways. It has got the seal oh, well, upon probably some, it. There's something in the. There's probably something in this book about it right mm. here. A dusty tome that speaks of the conflict between the sibling goddess of Saluna and Shah after Saluna ignited the sun and brought life-sustaining light and warmth to the universe. Try my way. That... Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus. It didn't work. <laughs> That's hitting you hard. Um, but now it's in the dark. Any damage Looking... that you do re rebound upon you. Can I suggest we stop hitting it with <laughs> stuff that we cannot damage? Wait, it's just reflecting our damage? Yes. Okay, I'm stupid. Yeah, you got hurt. <laughs> I hurt yeah, myself. You, yeah, you really Bad. Um, yeah, Ow! you jump over. Christ, yeah, leave it alone. Oh, oh perception there's check. a... I had a perception check on this side. I can't see shit, but... Oh, perception failed. Oh, I, oh, I found something. Oh, there's a, there's a thing. What does it say? Have a look. Got it. The Lunite prayer sheet. Oh, God. A prayer dedicated to Saluna, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessing and share in her bounty. Except an old prayer. 
just an old prayer. There's a religions check if you try and read it. Is it a password disguised as a prayer? Maybe. I mean, read it and see what happens. Uh, if you might pass the check. An old prayer. Uh, uh, do we have any religious folk? Just an old prayer. Hmm. No. Lump. This is where it? not having a cleric is gonna fuck us, you know. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, because we got we got no religious folk. Okay. We've got no need for religion. Uh, did you have a read of the prayer sheet there, Lump? Or? Uh, what, sorry, where is it? Back there? It's a, yeah, it's back I'll, there. I'll bring it. I'll bring it across. Uh, I'll bring it across. It is immune to blood. It is vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. Mm. Yeah, oh, so so the mouse over. It's got Saluna's seal. Oh. My prayers are answered. Oh, oh. Let me drop it. Oh, oh it's yeah, unlocked. Someone just unlocked it. There you go. He must have Wait, said, the said the password. The moon oh, drop fuck pendant. Sake. Reading uh, it. The... Anything good? Cuba, bloodstone, a necklace, salunite right. What does the bloodstone necklace do? Uh, the, the moon drop pendant, oh, wow. sorry. That's um, pretty cool. Writhing dance. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they do not provoke opportunity attack. I need that so I can disengage. That's okay, really good. fucking strong. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, and Some... a Salunite Rite. This tome describes the ancient uh, initiation rites observed by some who worshipped the moon goddess Saluna. Uh, when a younger... Sorry, when the youngster came of age, they would be left to fend for themselves deep in the wilds. There they would show their skills of navigation and self-reliance. Uh, side note, or fucking die. Uh, as well as their determination to return to the Moon Maiden's silvery glow. Once they found their way back to their people, their faith and standing as a follower of Saluna would be beyond any doubt. So, okay, so they take a kid, put him in the woods, say, Saluna don't die, good luck, and good. if they make it back to civilization, Jesus. they're one of Salunites chosen, I guess. Uh, that's, uh, that's very Spartan. To religion. It's very Spartan. Yeah, it's very yeah. Spartan. They wouldn't, it's not Spartan. They all have to be molested by their like, leader. <laughs> yeah, Spartan. yeah. Uh, uh, bears up here. Hang on. Doggy belly. Oh, it's huge. That's what she said. It's enormous. Yeah. It's distressed, is what it is. Bring the animal. I can. I here. can speak to yeah. animals. Yeah. Roll, roll up the. What are you looking yeah. at? There's a bit massive oh, yeah. owl. Owl bear. Wait, oh, it's it got is a cub. A oh owl. no, let's not hurt the cub. Oh, there we go. Are you talking to it? You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you oh see it. Oh my god, it, it is huge! <laughs> An owlbear. Oh. I can speak to animals. Looming out Please of the speak darkness. to me! What's this? Something weak. Something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Text, because you're missing an eye. That eye or lack of it must have caused you... Must have you a lot of pain. I should know. Skulls don't make us kindred soft meat. And they don't make you welcome in my nest. You'll be missing more than your eye before I'm done. Hmm. Come on then, once I've blocked you, I'll have your cup for dessert. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I get Jesus, fucking advantage, nice. baby, because I'm a barbarian. <laughs> Where did that come from? What the fuck? I didn't know that was a thing. Just like, oh, don't, it's okay, I'm not a yeah. <laughs> Stupid but brave. And I'm too tired to deal with brave. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. I can go. Ah, okay. It's an owlbear. I could try and talk to it again. There's an egg that we can nick. Yeah, there's an egg and oh. I presume we're not. Oh, oh okay. what have you done? Okay. No. okay, I tried to talk to it again, and apparently, me trying to talk to it again pissed it the fuck off. I imagine so. <laughs> right, Aww. okay. Uh, I don't want to kill uh, the little bear. I don't either, but it attacked us, so it's got 91 health. Jesus. Uh, and it's level 3. Okay. Right. right. Who wants to go first? I shall go uh, first. I shall make my sword. Sing! The sword sings a melody. All alloys within 20 feet have wonderful bonus to attack and charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. Thank you. Canto day. Lovely. Sing, sword, hmm. sing! And okay. now I shall... Rage! 
Ah! Jesus Christ. You are, you are a mixed bag, much. my friend. Yeah. yeah. Come on then, I'll fucking have you, you giant walking carpet. And, and turn. And right, turn. I'm going to launch a couple of Eldritches in its side. Maybe it will. Oh, Jesus Christ. He said he's flying. Yeah. Um, I can't do much because I'm low on movement points, so I'm just going to fire at it twice with an arrow. Okay. First shot. Second shot. Third okay. shot. Okay. No. Nope. If you're inside that blue boundary that's drawn around me, you get that benefit from my singing sword. Neat. Right. Okay. I am going to uh, move to uh, slightly closer to Lump. I'm going to move this five meter distance. Then I'm going to use one of my... If you move into, my... the, uh, into the blue circle, you get a bonus to your attack. That. Let's see. I've got... I'm going to do one better. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use uh, a level one spell slot to get enhanced leap. Uh, and mm. then I think I'm going to, yeah, so I'm going to go enhance leap. Uh -huh. I'm then going to uh, jump up onto this high ground here, I think. What high ground? There's no high ground. High ground. Uh, if the camera would be less than useless. There's no high ground here. Where are you there jumping? Is. What are you on about? Trying to, well, there is. Um, but my camera won't let me touch it, so. What's well, that? Oh. Oh? Oh, yeah. No, it's kind of being down. weird. Yeah, I, I, honestly, they need to come up with a better... I think in Divinity you could, like, scroll up to the other floors really easily, yeah, but you can't you do that on this. Or maybe it's just too high for me to get hmm. to. Speaking of which, yeah. I, I've moved the Divinity footage onto my main editing hard drive. I'm going to review it, maybe do another episode. Hey. Of when we get into Driftwood. Get up onto this higher ground here so I get high ground advantage against it. Uh, and then I can shoot down on it. Yep, there we go. High ground. Uh, I've got a 95% chance to hit. I'm going to enable my passive all in uh, for minus 5% chance to hit with plus 10 damage. Uh, because of the high ground and the archery gloves that I'm wearing, it's still an 85% chance to hit. 16 to 32 damage. Ooh, a critical my God. Hit of 35. Oh, 35. Holy well shit. There we go. End turn. Oh, is it all right? Oh dear. Oh, she pissed. It's raged. Oh my god, oh my Ow. god. Jesus Christ. Wow, you've got 16 health left, dude. Oh my god, it's got like Shit, red glowing eyes. Right, that is I'm terrifying. Gonna, uh, right, I'm coming off the Albert. Blast. Ah! Well done. Yeah, I'm, gonna, that, I'm gonna run it with I'm my sword. I'm gonna do another two. Oh. You got it? You got it. Oh no, don't okay. don't hurt the little one, don't hurt the little one. You're talking? Uh, okay, you're talking. Yeah. Oh no, no. he's talking to Dirge, which means that I can't talk to it. Oh no. A single strike will end his suffering. No, I don't like it. Dirge. No, don't hurt Dirge. The oh, yeah, we did kind of just eyes. kill his mother. We're Let monsters. it live, we might be able to look after it. Let it live, for fuck's sake, and I'll talk okay. to it and speak with animals. I don't... Oh, no! You watch speechless oh. as the cub oh. begins to eat his mother. I oh. want it. Nature can provide for right, I'm going to talk to it. Perhaps it'll live. Oh. It Oblivious to your presence, the cub continues to gorge oh, himself on his spear. dead mother. Oh. Oh, okay, it doesn't give a shit. Let, let it live. Yeah, let's not kill the owlbear. Oh, poor thing. I feel so bad. It's got big eyes. Take like an owlbear omelette, though. Oh, there's a survival check up here. Hmm? Sorry, I was just uh, exploring this top bit. See, and there is something up here. I just don't know what it is. Oh. Alright, what else is there to steal? Uh, I just got Boxes. some armor called the Oak Father's Embrace. Uncommon medium armor. Order of nature. An Undead creatures egg. that hit the wearer Is receive 1d6 radiant damage. Beasts oh, nice. that hit the wearer deal an additional 1d6 radiant damage. Um, Are we going to potion or do you want short rest there, Lump? I don't know whether it's worth... Uh... Good potion. I've got a few. I've got 13 minor health potions, so I don't think it's... Hang on. So I just want to drop my um... crown that I found. I could do with a short just to top up on spell slots. I'm, I'm happy to do either. I could do with a trip to the um, cellar guy. Yeah, so could I. Yeah, yeah let's. 
short rest then, because might as well. Yeah. Got it. Right. Nice. Okay. Well, now that we've left a child without its mother, let's head out, I guess. I mean, in fairness, we we wandered in and we talked to it and it would let us go and then it had a fucking moon swing <laughs> and attacked us again. What did you do? What was the second thing you did? The second, just, I just it, talked to it again. It said, and it it said leave yeah. and then Digby talked to it again and then it attacked it. Because you didn't leave. Oh. I guess we had our chance and we blew it. Well, we got okay. the egg. Yeah, maybe, but... Right. Maybe, maybe we'll bump into someone who wants the egg. Maybe. I'll hang on to it. Oh. If it hatches, uh, someone else is being the dad. I'm not doing it. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it'll if probably... If it on you, you no. might not get a choice. No. To be fair, with that haircut, you do look a bit like an Albert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm still beamed after a short rest. I don't know how to get rid of that. Is what it an item? I'm, I'm beamed. Beamed? Yeah. Hmm. Um, it's the purple cross with an arrow through yeah. it. Um, I'm just going through and I'm seeing if I've got anything for bangs. Uh, which direction did you lot go? I've lost you. Up the, the bridge. bridge. Yeah. Hmm. Just checking my inventory. Uh... Not like I've got anything for bangs. Egg. There it is. Ah. Did you fast travel? No, no, just travel. Just walk there. Just outside the cave, and then... Uh... Oh, outside the cave, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, yeah, how you guys been today? Yeah, not too bad. I've just been sort of chilling out, really. Hmm. Been a... Yeah, it's been a, a relatively quiet one. Been enjoying XCOM. Yeah, I saw, yeah. yeah. And by, by enjoying, I mean hanging on to dear yes. life. Oh, ow, yikes. Sorry, there's a loud whistle on your team speak. Is Well, now you've gone very mm -hmm. quiet. Has he gone very yeah, quiet? Uh, he's all right for me. Speak, Hugh. Hello. Speak. I have spoken. Yeah, you've gone crazy quiet for me. Is it just me? Just you. Maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, I have to turn him up then. Hang on. Um. Yeah. The the other area that was marked, we can actually get up to it. Okay. Gonna dial you I'm up. I'm coming slowly. Can you I'm carrying uh, so much shit? Some... Can you speak normally? Set... you a trader. Hang on. Send Seven. stuff to camp. Hello. There you go. Hello. Just turned you up. Okay. No worries. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, yeah I'm playing. I'm Ooh. playing classic difficulty on uh, Tom, and that's going uh, uh, well. I'm I'm shoveling soldiers. Oh, sorry, he's gone. Difficulty. Well. Yeah. Are you a masochist? You well, lunatic. <laughs> so, it's just like it's one of those. It's just uh, I'm sort of like. Aliens have invaded. They have the upper hand to begin with, and I just the, the thing is when you start playing on classic difficulty, and I suppose like that because it's a hard, it's the hard difficulty class, a very hard or like a legendary mode. Um, but it's just, it's just like uh, uh, my guys will be in full cover a uh, uh, hundred meters away, and then they'll get critically hit for all of their health. You know, it's just there's not much I can do about it. Or, or I'll like move someone a few tiles, and then that, it will reveal like a whole pod of like terribly um, evil stuff. Wait, so where, where did you guys go? Mechanic. We're up here. We, we, we jumped up onto these little platforms, and uh, just onto this uh, rocky outcrop. Yeah, I just looted everything. Um, I have okay. an amulet <laughs> that gives you guidance, um, which is a handy spell. And I also have the head of a broken spear. So does anybody have a shaft of a broken spear? I don't know. Um, sorry, I'm having a lot of difficulty here. For some reason, you guys are really... You're getting loud and quiet. Are you guys staying the same distance from your microphones? Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking yeah, yeah. pretty much. Okay, I'm just going to... I need to... For some reason, I need to turn social all the way down now. He's become boomingly loud. Uh, if I move away, is no, that No, 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 don't, don't physically move. I'll just huh? change the volume. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, there's something strange going on. Uh, sorry, carry on, carry on. Uh, 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 uh... Me... Yeah, does anybody have a broken shaft? Broken no, shaft. nothing like no. that. I was just checking if any of us had priority to speak or on TeamSpeak or something, but we don't. But I've, I've I mean, just come up here and uh, pass the check next to this rocky crevice. I'm just going to have a look. Okay. Oh, spider's webs. Hmm. Spiders. Oh, you talking to him? 
At the back of the crevice lies a bag. There's a lot of spiders in here. In of spiders. I've got a ranger check here. Shiny gold Watch the spiders and remain ready to snail. strike. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. <laughs> really? Spider egg? Well, sl I mean, I'll leave it. I'll put my special gloves on uh, to maybe try and pass that check a little bit more easily. What's your special gloves? His so, sleight of hand gloves. Yeah, oh. so I've, I've, uh, I think I might already be wearing them, to be fair. Yeah, I am, sorry. Uh, gloves of thievery. Um, so we, I got these from the Zenterim guys. I bought them from one of the vendors. It essentially gives me advantage on any sleight of hand check, which is okay. absolutely insane because I've got plus seven in sleight of hand, so I get two plus seven dice. Okay. Give it a go. Right. At the back of the crevice lies a okay. bag enfolded in right. a I'm going to use a sleight of hand spiders. check to dart my hand in and snatch Shiny the bag. Coin 15 difficulty class. Yeah, I get three from dexterity, wow. two from the ring, and three from proficiency. All with advantage. Put my hand in and see what I get. Didn't even need it. You need you you, I suppose you did need it because you rolled a seven. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Okay. In we go. The spiders scatter, and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Is it more coins? Yeah. Big crotch shot there. Yeah. What is uh, it? What was in the bag? Egg. <laughs> a spider egg. What? Excuse me. Huh? It weighs six. It weighs... I've got I've got a silver ingot on me that weighs two. Uh huh. I guess kilograms. This spider egg weighs six kilograms. There's lots of spiders. And it's where, got 13 gold. Where are you, where are you going to put it? I um, bite up your ass. I don't know. Um, yeah, take it back to the camp and throw it in Shadowheart's tent or something. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Uh, sure, yeah. Well, <laughs> um, Just to wake up in the middle of the night, she's I, I, screaming. Centre camp wares. There we go. I'll let it crack open in the middle of the night. Right. We? Yeah, 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 yeah. Halloween decorations. Is it Shadowheart? Oh. What's the lady? Uh, Shadow Shadow yeah, Shadowheart. That's the one. And Carlock, yeah. Yeah, the one that Digby's trying to fuck. I think we're done yeah, up here. Call out mine. Hands off. Um, last place uh, that I noticed that we haven't been. Uh, if we tr fast travel to the Risen Road, um, there appears to be that area to the west of where it says the Mountain Pass quest is. There might be nothing there, um, but yeah, I it. figured it's worth having a look. Uh, Risen Road, yes? Yes. So we, we travel west on the Risen Road. Why, why are you trying to ban Carlac, Digby? I, I don't know. She's just, she's my a a challenge. Bus fetish, I guess. Yeah. Did we look up here? Oh yeah, this is where the knolls were. Okay, well I guess this is the way we got to go. Yeah. So, up we get. Right. Okay then. Oh, but there's some autumn. There's a few herbs and stuff. I'll pick them up for our resident chemist. Although, to be honest, with the Chris. demeanor of Dirge, I don't know whether I'd trust a potion that he'd yeah. probably like. Oh, there's lots of blood. Is it these are gnolls? Yeah, yeah, this is the, the oh, cave yeah, with the Zentrim guy. Ah. Hang on, let me just give my herb shit over to. Oh, where's it gone? I don't know what you mean. You what, know. Did, what did. What did. <laughs> Gareth of the Gate is a different person to me, darling, and therefore he uh -huh. can bang who he likes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. I'm getting in trouble uh -huh. with your fiance. If you're going to be horny with someone, I don't mean with a literal. <sighs> Tiefling. What's wrong with the Tiefling? You racist. <laughs> Messi, just be yes, concerned if later wrong. on... I just... Be, be concerned if later on he's asking you to wear, like, red face paint or something. Yeah, that's Womble the one. says, be concerned if later on I'm asking you to wear red face paint. That's the one. We larb. That's nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, God. Okay. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> also, Kak is cute. I get it. Uh, yeah, there we go. See, I've got endorsement. Right. Sandwich? Yeah, up for that. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I can. Sandwich. Hold on, I can summon the Strow, I think. Oh, you can. Oh. Want to talk to the Drow? Oh, I'm sorry, talking to corpses, for God's sake. Corpse Every time you walk past you. a dead body, you want to have a conversation with it. Hmm. All right, fine. Uh, no, I want to hear what the Drow said. Leave him alone. Done that. All right. Right, uh, we wanted to go to um, the, the west, mountain yeah. pass well, over. I, I think we literally just done a, a, yeah. uh, a fast travel here called Joaquin's Rest. Just don't go too far Joaquin. in case we go into the Curse Lands. Uh, um, 
any sort of transition will be like a door. So. Oh, hello. We we've got Elika. There's a there's an elf up here. You've you've been frightened by a something. A dragon. A dragon. God's preserve. <laughs> you kidding? Okay, I'm gonna crouch. Oh God, it's a yes, dragon. It's a, it's it's a, a dragon. dragon. Uh, okay. There's also this Alika lady. Let me, let me talk to Alika. What she say? What are you doing? She says, "What are you Hold doing?" Before they see you, Magresham. Uh, what is the matter? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. She looks weird. She's no tea. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. What are they? Who are you? What are you? Why is, don't the tieflings have red skin and horns? Not always. No? Oh, okay. No. Um, who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Okay. Uh, you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead to really. <laughs> I just, yeah, I, into the cab. Fuck it. Uh, area. Okay. What? Just follow you around. <laughs> I go my own way. Alone. I like her. Yeah, fair enough. Rag. That's we... it. I'm getting out of here. I, I want to romance Ooh. this NPC. Oh, oh, weapons. Hang on. Oh. I'll feed your innards to the ants before oh, I do that. Bitch, bitch. This yeah. is your, your last chance. That's no, not. look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! It's one of their dragons. Yeah, they're dragon riders, they get. Yeah. House crash. Oh, fucking oh, hell. Oh, they escalated that. Looks like we're not taking them out in part. <laughs> Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. It is the Grinch. Of course, Kithrak. Yeah. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Um, They'll be tough are... to fight, but not impossible to beat. Dersh can uh, speak? Yeah, I was going to say, speak uh, your What voice. the fuck? Um, also, um... Sorry, a lot to unpack there. I think we were right to leave that woman in that cage. Yeah. Hold on. There's Lazale. Wait, what? That... Where? Down there. She's dead? Is that the one that came with us? Oh, um... yes, it is. It's, it is Lazelle. The Where? One, the one from the cage, I think. Yeah. Where? Which one? Cage. Where? Down there. She's actually down there. Oh, wow, she lived. Yeah, uh, she is not going to vouch for us. <laughs> she is so angry with us. She is not going to vouch for us. For the chat's benefit, she was in a cage and we were like, see you later then, and just left her to die. Uh, that dragon is level 10. Uh, These yeah. knights are level 12. Where's yeah, no, dragon? we're going to die. Where is the dragon? I can't uh, see if you dragon. Crouch, I mean, you can't see the, the dragon. You it's can't massive. see the massive dragon. Yeah. The Come to the um, fucking... Yeah. Let me lip. pick you up, tiny the man. I'll throw you at the dragon. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, what a thing, thing to miss. <laughs> Blind. Uh, Q, you might actually be able to pickpocket the dragon because there is a <laughs> blind spot. Yes, of course. Pickpocket. <laughs> Dragons are famous for having pockets. Good, uh, just give me a quick save here. I'm just going to go have a run. Really? Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, 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 really? Right yeah, now? Yeah, really? Hold on, hold on. Hold I'm, on, I'm holding the see. camera still so we can watch him fail and then I can edit that later. Yeah. Right, go for it. Really? <clears throat> what? Yeah. what? Where, does, where is a dragon's pocket? You want to like stick your hand up its arse or something? Yeah, I'm gonna find like a rotary telephone or something. What <laughs> fucking planet do you think this is gonna succeed on? Like, what, <clears throat> what are you doing? Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This chat. thing has 400 hit points and level 10. Place your bets now, careful. chat. Is it gonna They're get gonna eaten? Turn around. They're gonna turn around. Careful. Oh. Huh? Uh, pickpocketing, pickpocketing, uh, impossible. Impossible. <laughs> impossible. But it succeeded. Uh, I, just, uh, I just tickled its pocket and now I'm walking away. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! It succeeded on a hiding check. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I strongly I recommend. A, yeah, smelly glove. Um, that's that's what I got for that. I strongly recommend not having any conversation with them because Lezael, Leziel, whatever her name is, going to yeah, attack lasagna. us. She's... Lasagna. Yeah, she's going to be very angry with us. I think we. Discretion is a better part of value. Yes, than chat I think we need to leave. Away. 
That's well, this is the uh, mountain pass, so... Well, we're going through the underdark, aren't we? Well, we yeah. can. This, was, this is just the yeah. other route, if we were so inclined. Do you want to go up the Ooh. Zentrum hideout and then go the other direction away from the outpost and explore that side of things? What do you mean? Yes. Uh, Unpack well, that for me. Go... Everybody waypoint to the Zentrum hideout. Mm -hmm. well, that's where you can is go to set, actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Right. Now this time, Quebec. We'll take the elevator <laughs> yes, down I don't after. have my torch. Don't on. blow us all the fuck up with the highly explosive whatever it was. Right. Me first on the trader. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're too slow. I will out, out of my way, tiny man. Entire building. Where is the trader? Which one is he? Darius, I think it is. is it? Out of my way. Out of my way. Out of my. No. You're right. No. You can go first. You're Thank right. you. You don't want to keep Zaris waiting. Damn it! Believe ah. me. <laughs> you gave me the oh, wrong yeah, guy on purpose. Actually... You gave me no, the no, wrong no, guy. No, 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 shit. Do we want to... And I mean, I know it went so well for the last guy, but there is actually... Um, the Zentrum guys do actually have right. a small lockbox area out the back here. We didn't discuss, we didn't we didn't explore it last time, but there is a... There does appear to be a vault. I thought we did. That's how we got into the Underdark. No, no. So that's the secret bit. Next to the Underdark bit is the vault. Oh, okay. There's like a couple of rooms... Mm -hmm. Locked up tight behind iron gates past a load of traps. One of them appears to have a series of locked wooden chests in, as well as some vases, and the other one has a nice painting, again, probably of that guy that me and Digby are sharing the, the, the pay over. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, that I mean, dude. I, mean, I hope he I was... makes it to Baldur's Gate. I really do, because well, we spent a so, lot of money yeah. on him. So, I think, to be honest, this sort of are cage done, here. Dirt? I've done, yeah. Uh, uh. I was going to say, this cage here... Oh, like, fuck you. My guess is, is that this was where <laughs> they were keeping him. Sorry, man. I'm only going to be done. I'll be done really quickly. I'm literally just going to rinse him for all of his money and I'll be back. Uh. I can literally Q. just misty step into the... Yeah, so bars. my question, Q, is... Do we sort out the front of house? Because everything is literally set up to blow up. Um, and I then go deal with them. Well, that impl I mean, I'm, I'm assuming, of course, that you guys even want to, want to pick a fight with the Zentry. I mean, no, I'm, I'm not... always more than happy to... I mean, it's one fight. of those. I'm, I'm happy to leave this all sort of locked up tight. I, I should... I'm, I, I, my moral compass is that I'm, uh, I'm trying not to be a, a thief over. And, and so far, <laughs> I've actually resisted that. Yeah, but... yeah, you've done very well. We're very impressed. Thank you. Well, we still need to keep a trader, so maybe we just leave it and then... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We'll we don't, we don't, we don't want to murder down. every single trader. Uh, someone yeah. else has um, rinsed him for all his cash, so I can't get rid of my wares, annoyingly. We could Seven always... Uh, uh, shall I meet camp. you guys at the uh, the fake... The, the, the wall for the... Um, you know, the, the elevator that takes us down. Uh, over here. I'll, uh, I'll meet you guys at the elevator when you guys are happy. All right. Oh, are you done, Digby? Almost. Got some interesting stock for a friend. Wait, you're saying he's out of gold? Uh, he... yeah. Ah. He basically is, because we, we've rinsed him for all of his sh stuff. That's, that's not a problem for Lump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I've got lots of little... I've got a chopping board that needs to get sold. Five plates! I was going to say, you're, 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 you're you don't need gold to sell to a trader. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm with you, yeah. <laughs> Would you like a donation? For the chat's benefit, I went and moved everything into the trade window, but then forgot to hit the scale button to give me gold, so I just randomly gave an NPC all of the loot that we gathered from the goblins. Uh... Is this guy wearing a skirt? Wait, are we all wearing skirts? Right, done. Right. Thank you. Pleasure. I've got a pair of pants on. I have pantaloons. Okay. Alright. Back already. Alright. I beg your pardon. Of course. Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. Right, just trading. Be with you momentarily. Oh, yes. Look at my new clothes. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, how do you sell just all your wares? I uh, add wares. There we go. Uh, That's a fancy coat. It really is. Um, these ingots. What are they for? Selling. Is that it? Yep. You can't, can't craft anything with them. Nope. All right. What about malachite? All right. Sell it. Uh. Ah. You're right, he doesn't have enough gold. Hmm. Grab some high quality items. Or just send shit to camp and wait for another trader. That's a good idea, actually. Where does it go if I send it to the camp? In your camp chest, which we cannot access. Good, okay. I'll do that then. Uh, hang on. Uh, it's the heaviest items. Fuck. Sorry, bear with me. Pleasure. Right. I'm back. Hi, back. All right. Back already? Bye, back. I'm dead. Of course. Hang on. Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. Um... Yeah, I guess our plan is to go back into the Underdark. Maybe we just... I mean, we, we are now a higher level. Um, so we could have another bash at uh, trying to yes. deal with that uh, that Beholder. Or the spectator, or whatever it was. Uh, monitor. Monitor. But we we're holding can a spectator also... monitor. Oh, there's a wolf yeah. called Ister down here. I might talk to and Indra. I might talk to the wolves. Uh, there we go. Right, I've got one guy talking to corpses all the time. Guys talking to animals all. The time. <laughs> I love that talks to himself all the time. <laughs> I just... It's the only way to have an intelligent conversation. You know, speaking to animals is not actually a bad thing to do. I mean, it allowed us to reveal the red caps. The last time Dirk yeah. spoke to an animal, he no poked it into a tree. <laughs> he did that, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. The last well, no, time I spoke to an bear, we murdered it and left its cub like an orphan. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> there seems to be a one-to-one -one correlation between us talking to things and then it dying. <laughs> There's there something is, that I've there noticed. Is that, I suppose, but. Also, have you always looked so fantastic? You look awesome. No, these are you my new, your, these your are new, my, new, my new robes. Yes, you look fantastic. Look it, look, it looks really good, doesn't it? I, I, mean, I want to see. It's slightly spoiled by my hat, which what hat? makes me look like <laughs> a fucking idiot. I want to see. I want to see. Wait, <laughs> I'm trading. I'm trading. You know, sophisticated to nut job. Uh... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this <laughs> this on and hide the hat. That's uh... fair. To be fair, my hat doesn't look much better. It's basically, either. like it's behold. Bigger. Yeah, my hat isn't uh, as nice. If I can find a nice one, then who knows? But yeah, for now, yeah, I'm just uh, hiding it, keeping it in my back pocket for now. Uh, pleasure. I want to see you, Digby. Where are you? Hang on. He said, "Come over here. We're waiting by oh, the elevator oh, for you." Fuck, you're in the different zone. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. But we're in the yeah, we're in the. Uh, uh, hang on. The magic thing. Also, we've by got to find. I think I think our secondary plot subplot here is finding a cure for dirge, because they Absolutely. Gave me the long rest. Yeah, you spanner. The the spanner drank one of the potions from Monkey's poor lady. <laughs> and now he's, now he's why, permanently Why drained. would you do that? No, I, I don't think. Well, okay, right. I don't think I did. But yeah, because you've got you've uh, got um yeah you've got like this this bane thing on you. Why would you do that, you dummy? You have you you total uh, dummy. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink Crap. this one. Keep it up, you don't, don't drink anymore. Broken promises. Stop drinking. Broken the promises. Strength is increased by two until next long rest. Upon resting, strength, strength is indefinitely reduced. Oh no! Your curse. Stop <laughs> drinking the monkey's For the rest of the bottle. game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dingus. Oh, that, that's going to fuck you as well, my, because it's you're going to have strength 9, which means we can find this wonderful strength check going forward. <laughs> yep. Uh, well uh, done. Everybody else wants to drink one? No, no thank right. you. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, show, Digby, show, show me your show, your thing. Behold yeah, so, my robes doing... of magnificence. Yeah, you do look good. Yeah, now show me your hat. hat. Yeah. Behold my robes of magnificence huh? that are spoiled by my party hat, <laughs> but mainly the robes of magnificence. You, you look like a, a discount Halloween costume. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, my friends. Yes. You have to join me on the elevator. Hey, I swear we did this. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, we went down already. Yeah, we so did. this is where the Minotaurs were. But you said you were going to find a vault. 
I don't know. So I, I, I don't think it's wise to cross the Zenta room. Ah, and we're no, keeping. I don't either. Yeah, and Sorry, so we're, we're leaving them alone. Yeah. So we're back in the Underdark, everyone. Yes. We were here this... last, and a beholder kicked the shit out of us. So I guess we're going to have Ooh, reception check. Uh... Oh, there is a crate here. Okay, I'll, I'll have there's, a bash at the box. There's a heavy chest back there. I failed a perception check on it, so... Oh, which are you going? oh wait, can I... Oh, it is trapped. Hang on. Oh, just thank God I didn't way. open it then. Back in a second. The hell the Wizard of Wardy? Uh... Has... <laughs> has Gale fucking exploded while we were away? Oh, uh... Dump's gone to the camp. That's yeah, sorry, one. bear with me. Uh... Uh, there we go. Right, I'm on my way back to you now. False life scrolls and speak with dead scrolls. Sorry, Gale, the wizard junkie? Yeah. Yeah. What's happened to him? Only we. The journal just updated, so something's probably happened to him. Oh, really? Because I went to the camp and had a look at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll find out. Right. Oh yeah, of course, because the Minotaur burnt the thing. Uh, okay, um, so last time, we obviously ah, went left. We... Can we, uh, so yeah, last time we obviously went left and hugged the, the wall there. Maybe we go right and see what we can find? Alright. Yeah. I'm going to snu snuff my torch. I don't know what kind of stuff's down here. Yeah. I think the yeah. light also might draw it. Also a good plan. Yeah. Let, let's go deeper into the Underdark. That's a good plan. Survival What's check. What's that thing? Me... Our soon to be corpses. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Alright. Oh, and a heavy chest next to it. The from the Zenter and outpost. Chest has been buried. Oh, uh, couple Timus. of. Too close. Scroll of fireball. <laughs> uh, and some throwing knives. Hmm. Just passed a, uh, a check and it said Timusks cause confusion. So stay away from those Timus yeah. plants. Okay. Oh. What? Um, on the Wait. floor below us, there's myconoids. What is that? Um, so if you're by Gale, Gareth, oh, sorry. Um, hmm? there's myconids. What does that mean? Myconids. Uh, they're mushroom people. Oh, really? Oh, no. that's cool. Yeah. Um, they're Where are you looking? normally friendly. Where? Good yeah, where are you looking? Where are you looking? I uh, can see him. Northwest. Northwest. West. On the um, shelf mushrooms. Can you not see them? I, I don't see, see him. Uh, I maybe... see like a ruined, yeah. twisted thing over I think, there. I, I think you're know. seeing things, man. Do you want to go down and then? Yeah, yeah and have a conversation. Lead, lead yeah. the way, yeah. We speak to animals and dead people. Sure, yeah. let's talk to a mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, it's the thing oh, around again. Oh, it's I, the I tunneling thing. You got yeah. I saw that before. You guys got knocked down by it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Basilisk, maybe. Oh, I'll, hold on, hold on. Torch nope, stalks. Scout. Just clear these out. Oh wow. Wait for that to dissipate. You go mad Torch. in those. All right. Hell of a combination. Oh yeah. Get confused by one. Dead bodies, dead. Are they called Dra Draugar, Duragar, uh, Duragar, Duragar. Oh! 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 This he must be the this, this guy looks fucked up. He what is, is here. Sovereign. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You, know? you see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Loot. Uh, hang on. Uh, I tell the truth of the parasite, and I seek safe passage. Um, yeah, I seek safe passage in search of treatment. Fungal roots weave through your mind, 
seeking your true intent. That is the true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. I can mend neither skin nor spirit, but we still might commune. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign expects you. Gentlemen, we're being invited. Okay. Hey. Let's, well, let's be invited then, shall we? Yes, let's go. Well, there's a dead Myconid and a several dead uh, Duragar, or however you pronounce them. Oh, yeah. Duagar, they're this my don't, guy careful, pronounced don't, it. Don't, don't loot it, they'll go hostile on us. Yeah, I've not looted the Myconid. No, oh, they're kind of cool oh, looking. Hmm, Spore okay. Servant. I'm going to put, put my crossbow away. So I'm going to hide my sort of mushroom and emmental sandwich. <laughs> yes. They're not going to like that. I'm going to talk to this, this servant, Spore Servant. Okay, mate. Hang I'm on. going to drink a brief potion just to pet myself up. Uh, he won't talk to me. I'm talking to this sovereign guy, whoever he. Yeah, I'm guessing they're king. <laughs> oh, oh trader! Trader! Blurg is a trader. Talk to him. Ah, a visitor. Oh. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Does have some problems. Hmm. A lot to unpack in goblin. That Actually, I've never seen much, so I can't really say that. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. I do enjoy Trade. a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. <laughs> private collection. <laughs> right, I see. Uh, ooh. Ooh, he's got a few things. Wait, are they like a, a collective? What, what do they think about his private collection? I don't know. Do they share everything or whatever. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. A whole bunch of them are dead. Whoa. Oh. Yes, please. What, what's he got? So... He's got Melf's first staff, which gives me a uh, plus one, and it's a uh, acid arrow spell, which is nice. The Baneful, which um, will let me cast Bane on a hit, which is quite nice. But the one I was more interested in is the Circlet of Blasting, that gives me a God. Scorching Ray level two spell. Nice. Um, there's also the Life Bringer, which is another one, which is when the wearer gains lightning charges, they also gain three temporary hit points. Um, good. A ring that gives huh. dark vision up to 12 meters, um, uh, boots that give you normal movement speed and difficult terrain. Uh, yeah. There's... Oh. oh, there's also a, a necklace that gives magic missile. I have you, both of those. Are you busking from the mushrooms? Are you panhandling? He's panhandling uh, with the mushroom people. Is that, what he's, is that what that was? What? Digby? Yeah, sorry. So, I'm just trying to unpack this here. So, I think I've found... So, I found a mushroom called the Myconid Monarch, called mm -hmm. the Sovereign Spore. Yeah. Um, Waving his arms around another dead Myconid and several dead Drygar or whatever they're called. However, one of the Oh. The dwarf and deep dark people. Traders free. Um, it's alive. One of them's alive. Let's um, um, we'll head up there then. I'm going to speak to this trader very quickly, and then we'll we'll get going. Yeah. I don't want to get too close to him. I did find another trader just stumbling around looking. There's a lady what? called Dreth. Also, sorry, is that is it just me or is that Drow teeny weeny? I don't think they're Drow. I think they're deep. Is it deep gnomes? Oh. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, level uh, one deep. Maybe you're right. Uh. More guarded than their surface cousins, deep gnomes survive in the underdark with dark vision and skillful stealth. Been well here, love. Hmm. Been caught. There's also a dwarf gnome, dwarf a lady yeah, here dwarf. called Dereth. Dereth Bone Cloak. Hello, Dereth. May I have a word? 
Oh, you talking to him? Yeah. Yeah. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Balin. Oh my god. Like Greyjoy. Uh, is, is that a myth reference? I don't know. Oh shit, are you guys talking? Um, sorry, there's another yeah. trader, but she's well, got on. some spotted side stuff. Uh, I'll be right with you. I'm I'll just... tell you what, I'll just say show me your wares. Um, hopefully she doesn't take her shirt off or anything. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. More stuff. Okay, so what do we got here? Potion of speed. Okay, well, actually, I've got some uh, some gear that I need to sell, so I'm going to go ahead and sell right. it. Am I, am I am I is that a little a little nod to Myth the Fallen Lords? Not uh, familiar with that particular a game from series. 1999. You know um you know Halo. I do know Halo. Y you know uh, Bungie, the studio that made Halo. Aware of them. It was the the two games that served as the precursor to Halo. So right. there was a game called Myth and there was a game called Marathon and the two games combined their influence is what made Halo incredible. Sorry, I'm old. Yeah, I know. There was a there was a dwarf in that game, like a hero dwarf called Balin, if memory serves. A load of dyes here. Yellow fruit dye. Like a yellow that is. Well, no, well, there's yellow dye. Bring your weapon attacks also deal two acid damage. Caustic ban. This guy's got scrolls of revivify, which I think we're running out of. But they're yeah. expensive. Can people throw some money my way so that I can pay for them? How much do you need, sir? Uh, I'm 835 gold short. I can give you... Uh, I've got 400. Uh, if everyone chucks me 100 each, I can make up the short for them. Yeah, I yeah, can do. I'm just... Uh, I yeah, I am just selling some stuff you? on, so... Where'd it go? There we go. Uh, we'll send you some items instead. That works. Of those because ah. I'm passing I'm being corrected. Checks. Apparently, Balian is, is a dwarf from Lord of the Rings. Maybe that's where it's from originally? Must be. <clears throat> My voice Oh, yeah. Balin. Yeah, okay. Or well, Balin. Balin. That's what Gimli says when he goes into the. He's the guy in the coffin. Ah. Oh, yeah. And they yeah, call they... it a mine. A mine. Oh, oh he's, he's the guy with the big nose from The Hobbit. Possibly. Yes, no? he is. Yeah, the, the, one, the, old, the older one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tower, I've sent you a scroll you might like. Uh, cool. Oh, yeah. Malefic. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, there's this lady has 1,200 gold left on her. So, Lump, if you want to sell oh, stuff cool. to Thank clear you. your. Uh, yeah. Just ask her uh, for her wares. Uh, there's a flail Seems in there. The that looks are in more... Not, not you too much for me in there. There was a couple of crossbows, but Dwarf. it's not as good as the one Balin's I paid 800 name. gold for. So, always on the hunt for a new hat or something like that, though. Hmm. I'll go and check um, the hobgoblin's inventory. See whether he's right. got. Oh, how do he, I get stuff got... from the camp? Uh, so you have to go oh, back to, go to, to camp. Go oh. to camp and grab your chest. Yeah, right. or, uh, go into your chest. All right, bear back. What am I doing? The uh, brain's derailed. Okay, uh, that trade has now got a metric ass ton of gold. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go and uh, talk to them, I think. What am I doing? Where? What year is it? Where am I? don't know. Who are you? <laughs> talk to um, uh, what's it? I was going to do something and have... We should talk to the probably the Sovereign, shouldn't we? That yeah. ring of two acid is actually plus uh... two on every attack queue. That's pretty tempting, then. Where's where's that wizard bloke Gale? Hang on. I'm I'm looking at the cam. Oh, he looks he's fine. Gale's fine. Ignore ignore everything. We'll do it at our next long rest. Yeah, yeah. He's standing up. He looks healthy. Looks happy. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Do <sighs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, if he. So so Digby's trying to fuck. Um, oh, what's the name again? Fucking, what's the red lady's name? Karlak. Karlak, that's it. Dirge was trying to fuck someone. Who was it? <laughs> was Dirge? it the, the, the vampire yeah. man? No, was it? I, I can't remember. I think I got shot down. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you tried. Yeah, you shot your shot and you got shot down. Hey, Harry's in the chat. Also, where are your clothes? 
Is he? Are you selling your clothes? Uh, are things that bad? Yeah, I, I ran out of gold. So those aren't clothes. These are clothes. Casual wear. Yeah, go to uh, camp and see if I've got stuff to sell. King Leonidas has had a. It looks different, doesn't he? Huh? He's in his underpants wearing a red cloak. <laughs> yes. King Leonidas has fallen on hard times, everybody. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of all the uh, ruse from the hack. <laughs> so I don't want to lose any more ASI yeah. points. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry, I need to give you all the shit. Hang on. Uh, okay, I'm sending you the herbs I found. Seven short. It's a shopping episode, everyone. Yep. Yes. This live stream is just going to be us fucking selling shit. Uh, whenever you get hands on a trader, you gotta. Yeah. Gotta do what you can. Gotta do. Somebody <laughs> sent me two hundred gold. Please. You can do. I just point? spent all my gold on the Revivify scroll, so I have none to give. I'm afraid. Sorry. I've, I've got. Apparently, I've got a few late, spare Reviv Revivify scrolls as well. So there you I go. Can distribute Thank them. Thank you. Oh, apparently, I'm meant to send the food somewhere. It's weighing me down. Yeah, send I'll that. send it to camp. Okay. Sorry for interrupting. No, no, it's fine. No, no, you Oh, could. sorry, sir. I've sent the whole bloody bag to camp. Wait, oh. Gareth, did you just sell your armor? No. Oh, we're, uh... We're matching. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> I might see if I can dye this armor a different color, because it looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna do that just oh, now. No. I'm gonna go grab my dies. Can you? How do you do that? Uh, uh, so if you've you... got, so yeah, so if you've got a die in your inventory, you can right-click it and click Combine with, and then that die can uh... drag and drop. There you go. Oh yes! Look at you. Oh yes, that was a good move. You look very smart. Look at you. Sexy as fuck, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, sorry, I just uh, caught off guard then. Okay. I mean, it does look nice, I can't... <laughs> look at you. I am okay. now playing my loot to sentient fungi, even though they should be saving those Whoops. who are dead in their camp. Oh, I am killing time up here until what? my friends have stopped the trading. Sorry. Then we can proceed with the story of the game. Standing by to talk to the king of the mushrooms. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'll, I'll hurry. Bum da 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 dum di da. Uh, um dum dum da da. Uh, Dodge Clive. Games has subscribed to me for 36 <laughs> months. Thank you, Mr. Dodge. That is incredibly generous of you. You have decided to support your local bard, and we appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Someone so Are good. we done shopping yet? It has been now nine years. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> there or thereabouts it feels. I am getting tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm just... Uh, hang on. Uh... <laughs> uh, fucking... ba, 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 ba. Such a good song, that. There we go. And I might try the violin out because the violin's quite good. I mean, oh. these guys don't have any gold to give, unfortunately. On the way. Where are you? A chestnut mushroom. Okay. All right. Oh, is he are right you... here? The monarch. Yeah, yeah. So this, there, yeah, this is. Ah. So yeah. So um, my assessment of things. There's a lady called Thula here. Okay. Um, who appears to be one of the deep gnomes. Uh -huh. I'm guessing there's been a battle between them. That's my assumption. Damn it all. You gonna talk to him, Digby? I shall talk to him. What did he say? The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you. As the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker. I show you a memory. Watch and Thank listen. You guy. Oh. A violent vision grips you. Dwegar, dark dwarves chopping Myconid remains. 
They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. Thank you, Chef Mark. You'll find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. And thank you, Jay Vinny. Thank Cleanse you. Cleanse the rot. Destroy okay. them. Hmm. Be picking a fight with the Deep Gnomes on the word of a mushroom? Yeah, he's got a point. They're Deep Dwarfs, not Gnomes. Same thing. No, they are Deep Gnomes. <laughs> no, Dwegar Dwarfs. Mm. What are you thinking, Digby? Bard, reply in kind. Tell me of the invaders, how the Scourge moves, fights, how it will crumble. The Sovereign's song twists into images. Dwegar changing size, slipping in and out of invisibility, invoking craven divinity. An illusion comes over you. A Dwegar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. Glitter bomb. Yeah. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. Done. Sold. There we go. <laughs> <Now we're sorry. laughs> we will await word. Lovely. Alright, well. He wants us to clean up the, the dwarves. Yeah, the deep gnomes. Dwarves. The gnomish what? dwarves. I kind of want to ask about the spores in a corpse thing, but I feel like it's. Um... The what, sorry? Oh, go, go ahead. I mean, fuck. It's, I feel like it would be rude of me. Ah, fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. Planting spores in a corpse? What magic is this? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. Oh, the parasites? Well, they're mushrooms, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Spores hold such power. Uh, how might I gain this knowledge? You may not. <laughs> the spores Fair enough. fear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. Hmm. Yeah, what's with the gnome? You harbor a fugitive gnome. Admirable of you. The sovereign says nothing. But you hear appreciation in its song. Oh, is that the trader? Uh, uh the trader or Thula here. here. Oh. Yeah. I'm in chat. Oh. Are you in chat? Alright. Her condition is familiar. Poison, derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon. Most likely held by the poisoner. Oh dear. Uh, I could give her one of my many antitoxins. Ask her more, though. Who did this? Yeah. Who is she? Who did this to you? Dwego! Slashed me! Oh. Sorry, isn't she one of them? Uh, she's a deep gnome. Ah. Yeah, that's where the confusion is. <laughs> they're, they're both uh, pale-skinned. Yeah, they're, they're just short uh, people that run just, around the underdog. Yeah. Uh, if Dwegar... Uh, sorry, is it Dwegar? Yeah, Dwegar poisoned you. Perhaps they have the cure. No, if I have a cure, how do you end up here? My canids. Oh. oh, I took pity on me. Sound, lads. Especially since the Greys gave them hell for it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll give her the antitoxin. <laughs> She's like a child. Some cowpaw. Yeah. Oh, that was tequila. Tequila! <laughs> Sit wrong ball. <laughs> Sit wrong ball. Whatever that is, I needed it. <laughs> There's tequila. Why are you helping me? It's always useful to be your favorite. I thank you for the help, but I've got to get moving. Oh, Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Hmm. 
All right, fucking hell. Uh, Christ, you've just survived like a terrible poisoning. Yeah. Man, relax a bit, will you? Yeah, you're in no condition to help. Thank you, Rybide. And but Alex C, thank you both of you. I need you to rescue my kin. Thank you, Rybide. Right thank we you, Alex. Pay. We're Ironhand Clan, best artificers in Baldur's Gate. Okay, yes, well, well, you well, speak my language. Yeah. Down here yeah. when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. I'm sorry, am I the one that's weirded out by the model design? Like a normal adult head on a tiny, tiny body. It's gnomes, though. Look, look, look <laughs> at her. It's weird. Right. You try to say that you're creeped out by people with dwarfers. No, no, look, the Is model. That... Look. Uh, no, look, watch. <laughs> look. The end of your uh, what was <laughs> this public career, I think. Just mining for materials. <laughs> Is it not weird? Nothing unusual. No, yeah, well, it's fine. That's, okay. that's what gnomes are. hesitation, but enough. She's lying. Oh. But our work pays well. <laughs> Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. She just said she's got like the, the cheat on in like donkey, uh, like Goldeneye. Why? Why do you think she's lying? Hold on. Um, my insight suggests she's lying. Hold on. Right. Hold on. You're gonna have a bardic inspiration for this. Jesus, one <laughs> step. Basically. No, 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 no. Bum, 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 bum. Root out the liar. Root out the liar. Da, 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 da. Just the blood. Yeah. Just the mouth. Well. Yeah. Skin of your teeth. Well done. Fine. <laughs> It's complicated, but my clan has trouble back in the city. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say. But it's worth a lot to us. Understand? Thank you, Blood Cain. Thank you very much, Blood Cain. And abstract. Thank you sincerely, guys. Oh, I don't understand Thank enough you. of Asian and explain it. Look, you've done me a good turn and you deserve the truth. But that's as much of it as I can tell. I swear it. If you need to go your own way, I respect that, but still, I'm asking. Let's go in there to get should... rid of the Draugr anyway. Let's just free the slaves. Thank you, Ven. Thank you very yeah, much, Ven. Yeah, I'll free them if I can. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here... <sighs> I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwegger ass. I have a feeling I'll they won't fit. I'll where I made my escape, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> They might Wait fit here, on the I suppose. List. Yeah. Not much you. choice, eh? Yeah, cute. They'll fit you. <laughs> yeah. They'll fit you. Where is he? Look, wow, chat. Look at this. I... Look at this tiny Points man. Speed. For some reason, yeah. for some random reason, Q is teeny weeny when he started when he picked his character. Yeah, he's a tiny, tiny man. Yeah. Yeah. Although, weird, he, he looks taller. Class, class action. Um. Click the heels of your boots. Your movement speed doubles, and enemies have disadvantage on opportunity attacks against you. That's, That's a really good really get good. the fuck out. Yeah. Uh, Q, you said you'd take them, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I can put yeah. my boots up there for grabs. What boots did you have? Medium armor, I'm afraid. But I think they might be off the I, cards for you. I can wear medium armor because my okay. one of the feats I took was was medium armored. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, when you cast a spell that requires concentration, you get momentum for one turn, uh, which mm -hmm. gives you, uh, like, three extra meters of movement for, what, for, for a turn. Um, and then while you are concentrating on a spell, you cannot get knocked prone or moved against your will. That would be handy, actually. Yeah. So, I mean, you're welcome to them. Oh. Thank you, A3 Rod. Thank you very much, A3. Sorry, I'm just running back to the trader. I'll send Soviet them to you, Jeff, if you can look them yeah. over. Yeah, I'll look them over. Thank you. Sylvia, you're mm -hmm. still running on um, some really basic armor. Yes. Um, there was some. Where is it? There's a ringmail plus two. I'm sure there was something better though. Hold on. Is it heavy? Yeah. There it is. Chainmail plus one. AC 17. Oh wow, that's a lot. I've got uh, AC 14 on this. How yeah. Much there's is also it? ring. There's also a ringmail plus two. Um, which gives you plus one to strength saving throws and checks. Ooh. So the right. AC 17 is 546. The I've... plus two ring mail is 1260. Uh, I've only got uh, I've only got 151 gold. So someone might have to bum me some. Sorry, phrasing. Someone might have to bum me some uh, gold there. <laughs> you sitting on I a fair have... bit. I might have to bum you, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I hear that right? I I I I, I might have to bum me the gold. 
Right, I see. Oh yeah, uh, I could use uh, some reimbursement for these Revivify scrolls if possible. Yes, yeah, I'll send you some. How much did you? Uh, how much did you want? Uh, it was eight hundred and something comfortable? in total. I was sitting on nearly eight hundred, so like a hundred each to do it, and I'll sponge the rest. Yeah, I'll give you a couple hundred. Thank you. I'm gonna talk to this right. deep wroth because I can, because I can speak to the animals. I'll wait for later on the armor then. Hang on. Want two hundred and two gold. He That's treats me look. good now. Doesn't he? Two gold. Two hundred and four. Confirm. Send to Gareth. There you go. Thank couple hundred you. gold there. Okay. My chat was banging on about buying this ring called the Caustic Band. Uh, your weapon attacks deal plus two acid damage. So I've got acid damage now. Ooh, acid damage. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, so we, did you oh, grab wow. your Listen armor? To that. Uh, I can't afford it, I'm afraid. Oh. Ah. Dude, they're just going to throw like ingredients from a stir fry at you. They're mushroom people. Listen not to the lumpy man. I am the bard and I don't know this song. But I'm going to improvise. I may be getting it wrong. However, I shall keep on trying to do this. Even though this instrument is new to my taste. Ooh, I appear to have gotten the tune right. Oh my god, I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> well done. Well done. Right, should we go? Yeah, let's go and uh, go on an adventure. Yeah. Follow me, my uh, friends. Hopefully we'll find some armor that you don't have to purchase, though. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, there'll be really some stuff up ahead. Find something. Um, so if we go back the way that we came in, uh, down past where I set off all of those explosions, I guess follow the trail of dead um, deep people. Well, they said towards a lake. Don't it's lakeside. I don't know about a lake, but there, this is where some corpses were that I looted, so... Okay. Save so we don't have to do that shopping again. Good idea. I'm gonna get me crossbow out. Really nice boots, thank you. Ooh. The heels. I don't, I don't know what oh. what it does, but yeah. You click heels, it makes you go faster. It improves your speed. Nature check failed. What's inside? I can harvest nightlights. Okay. Um. A, a rogue's morsel. I seem to remember you quite um. liking that. Blue cap. Toad stall and rogue's morse. Bollywood trumpet. Decrepit like village. Ooh. This is Scunthorpe. Is that subnautica noise again? Uh, what's that? So executed deep gnome over there. Oh, yeah. Two lots of executed deep gnomes. I wonder if the dragger have taken over the village. But it's just a decrepit villa. I don't know whose this village was. Maybe, maybe there's, there's, oil of there's more dead Mike. Wow! Here. What? Short sword of first blood on this one here. Yeah. Break the unbroken. Deals an additional 1d8 piercing damage to targets that still have all their hit points. Oh, Ooh, a good assassin blade, if you that's don't mind. Only good yeah, for one you, swing, yeah, I'll, though. I'll yeah. send that over to you. Well, that's, that's really good, actually, because if I go for a backstab with my dreadful ambush... That might actually prove to be rather effective. There we go. All yours. Okay. Let's go down to the village because uh, the uh, lake's down there. Yeah. What did you grab, by the way, um, Digby, from the making it? Uh, he gave me a uh, haste spore grenade. It explodes in a cloud of invigorating energy that hastens creatures within. You need to, like, be in a tight group. You drop yeah. that, and then we, we can... We all have haste. Yeah. Hmm. I have a feeling you might want to save it for some reason. Can you hear singing? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ragustan. Yeah, I can hear people going like... Eddie, Thank you, Crota. Thank you, both of you. I failed a perception check here. Hmm. This place looks long oh, abandoned. Ambush. Oh, ambush. Ambush? Yeah, pr my guy just... I, I passed that perception check and it was a prime spot for an ambush, oh, hey. apparently. Oh, hey, shit, I'm in conversation. What? Oh. 
Gek! Oh, oh, got hello. someone sneaking up on us. Uh, I hold up my palms in peace. Oh, what have I done? What's this? Oh. Got ourselves an infiltrator. You move pretty quietly. Not quietly enough for my liking, though. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His fist grips an axe. On his gnarled grey skin, you Ooh. see the Absolute's brand. Ah, okay. So what does that oh, mean weird. again? He's so, got a... Th under the thumb follower. of this weird deity, yeah. Hmm, okay. Uh, fighter. Oh, you're I'm, branded I'm, as well. Yeah. I'm going to use my fighter wisdom. So fights tend to make quite a racket, if that's what you want to avoid. Uh. I suppose the sound of me cracking your nut would carry down mm. here. But spoil my hunt, and you're dead. Oh. What are you doing here? Told you. Hunting. <clears throat> slave ran away. Took Sergeant Thrin's boots. The boots I'm wearing. Killed a slave and fetched back <clears throat> the leather. Or the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Oh, Moonrise. He's taking orders from the tower we're going towards. Um, just, just not help a fucking slave catch you. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I can say I got the boots right here. Yeah, just that, pull them off me. No, feet. that'll make him attack us immediately. Um, Your problems are your own. I'm leaving. I'm probably going to go with that. What do you think? Yeah. I, like, I mean, like, these, I guess these are the deep dwarves that we're here to kill. Are yeah. they, though? Because they yeah. sound like they're on a. Oh. Well, there, well there's loads of They're hunting a fugitive though, like. slave. Oh, they're is, hunting yeah. that. Artificer. Which is why they attacked the the mushroom people. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, these are the guys we're here to kill. Right, so if she leaves, the slave they'll, they'll hunt her down and kill her and take the boots. Yeah. yeah. Whereas if we kill them, she might make it back to where she's going in Baldur's Gate. Gotcha. Let me see if I can if there's a third option here. Would you really kill someone over a pair of boots? Sergeant told me to. Besides, we're talking about a slave. Wait, she didn't say she was a slave. Didn't she say she was uh, with some artificer? Her, peop her people have been taken and were being used to dig up something by these guys. So these ah. guys have enslaved the expedition. So I say we kill him. Yes, probably. I think we can all agree slavery's bad, mm. right? Yeah, but we should probably be smarter about this, seeing as we got caught in an ambush. Yes. Um, What do you think I should do? You really? I could say I got the boots here. See if I can get him to fuck off, maybe. Well, he'll you'll want the boots. He will. Do we want to keep the boots? I'm, I, I mean, ideally. I mean, the question is, just, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I mean, I, I'll hand them back him. if that's what it comes to, but. Uh, just lie to him. Say, will I help? Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I could help. Help? You don't even know what you'd be up against. Slaves got herself some protection. Ah. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rot flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. It's pretty funny. I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna help you. I'm not helping a slave catcher. A bleeding heart, are you? Reckon I'll just roast and eat it. Oh. Shit. Oh. What happened to not wanting oh. to cause noise? Well, he's, a, uh, he's an idiot. He said, fuck that. Um, yeah. I've got a free. Uh, I'm not in combat, so I've actually got Neither a free round. Where are they? Um, one right in front of you. Where else? All right, dissonant whispers to open up from me. Is it just the one dude? Strike. There must okay, be more. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna Eldritch Blast a couple of times. Oh, oh. No, he's too far. Hold on, let me inch forward. Oh, Gek is a level seven, so just watch him. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna kill Holvik uh, with a couple of Eldritch Blasts. You don't kill him, I will, so. Okay, it's my yeah. turn. I'm gonna. Oh, oh, Jesus. You know what? Never mind. Put him on top uh, of a box. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Uh, in which case, I'm going to run forward. Lump runs forward. Can I grab him and lob him into the pit? Probably. 
too heavy to throw. I th you've knocked him out of my melee range, dude. I can just twat him with an arrow. Uh, okay, you try. Yeah. Oh, uh, stay close to me. There's someone who is invisible in this turn order. Oh shit! What the fuck is this? Oh, Jesus! What the fuck is this fucking yeti-looking thing on the turn order? What's a novice? Novice Gamor. They are. Uh, he is a. He's a gnome mm -hmm. who's bare-chested, but is currently invisible. I can see invisibility. Stay close to me. Okay. There's nothing yeah, I can uh, do this turn. Oh, I've got an idea. I, I've got an idea. Hang on. Right. Watch this. Right. Watching. What if? Right. Do we know which room he's in? No, no idea. So he might be in the room with me. What if I throw grease in the doorway? That could work. And see if he trips up on it. In turn. Oh, he's miles oh, away. He's down there. Ah. Oh yeah, yeah. I see Gek. Yeah. Oh. All right. Animate Gek. Four, target. four, target. four targets. Oh shit. Yeah. Psionic uh, backlash. That's a high level spell. Oh. Oh shit. Damage. Oh hey. We got some reanimated corpses we got to deal with. Um, do you do you guys want to run into the room with me with the grease? Uh, yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Jump over it maybe, so you don't trip. Uh, I I tell you what I could do. I don't have enough movement. Can you jump. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, at least that's oh. accurate. Oh, you revealed jump. Well done, Digby. But when I you can't... when you move, then you found this invisible yep. guy. Uh, right, okay. I can't do a huge amount. Uh, all I can really do is healing words someone. Oh, hello. Which I'll do just to keep you in the fight. Healing words, sir! Appreciate it. Right, so this guy's got 85 percent watts here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is because I've just got my turn, um, uh, uh, so I use my, um, my shot to kill the guy on top of the box. However, I've got Dreadful Ambush, so I'm going to use that. Uh, so I'm going to fire my dreadful ambush. I picked up a ring uh, from the uh, from the trader, the gnome, uh, the dwarven lady, mm -hmm. which gives me plus two acid damage. So I, I now just have plus two acid, acid damage and everything. So three two damage. Um, Eighty five percent chance to hit. I am blessed allegedly. Uh, I've got archery and my weapon enchantment. So I'm going to shoot into his back and see what happens. Excellent. Ooh. So he is now reeling, and I did seven damage plus two. Uh, with that now, I'm going to move to here, and I'm then going to attempt to maybe jump across that. Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. I'm going to move to here, uh, and then jump to try and get as far as I can across the grease. Oh, I saved it. Yeah, that's as far as I can go, unfortunately, though, because of the movement penalty. All right, well, that'll do me. Ending my turn. Have I just usually inconvenienced the party with the grease? I think you have, yeah. <laughs> but, Ooh, oh, now we're that's silenced. That's not good, we're silenced. Oh no. You have put us in a small box. <laughs> we're gonna get AoE oh, to no. shit in here. <laughs> oh no. Uh, if, if... Jesus! Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Actually, that's oh, not bad. Oh, I can thunder wave these guys, that's not a problem. Okay. They're all in the line, mm. I can thunder wave them, this is good. Okay. No, I can't, I'm silenced, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, the dash ability. What does it do if you use dash? Hang on. Uh, so dash uh, increases your movement your speed, but it yeah, it consumes your main action, but uh -huh. you'll get extra movement speed. So I can dash over to Gek over here and shove him off the edge potentially. Uh, if shove isn't uh, your primary action, which I don't think it is, but yes, that should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, where I is? Don't provoke opportunity attacks. Where is dash? Uh, should be. Never find it. It's the sh it's the shoe with the feather on it, uh, marked in brown, like uh, hide and all the rest of it. My blind yeah, you've taken it. I think you've taken it off your bar. Press K. Okay. Ah. Oh my god! I should have known about this way sooner. Hang on. Uh, yes, I found it. Thank you. Hang on. Oh no, it Just is here. Drag and drop. What the fuck is um, wrong with I've, you? I've had to add rows because of how busy uh, my thing is getting as well, and that's on all the right-hand side, just next to the end turn icon. You can add more rows to your hotbar. Okay. Right, I'm going to run up to uh, Gek over here, whatever his name is. There we go. Okay. So Lump Beefroth runs out of the silence field and says... Hang on. Where's he going? Surprise, motherfucker! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Didn't take him out, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> Still, I'll take it. Right. It's a running jump. <laughs> okay. Nice one. <laughs> miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. You're not, is he? Apparently. Uh, he just threw something at Jumping you. Jumping up. Oh, hello. <laughs> Tiny man jump. Right, okay. Stand by. I'm going to... I do not trigger opportunity attacks. So I'm going to move to here. I'm uh -huh. now no longer silenced. And I'm going to do... Thunder Wave! I'm going to up the cast Thunder Violin! The second level. Thunder Wave! Thun oh. That was nowhere sure. near as impressive as I wanted it to be. Holy yeah. shit. Cool, though. Right, fine. Fuck it. Pommel Strike! Ah, have some of that, you little bastard! Nice one. Right. Uh, from the other side of the... I'm just going to try and step off the grease without falling, which I have done. <laughs> uh, and then I'm... Uh, all of those are corpses, so I'm going to try and fire at the guy at the back. Um, so the guy at the back, uh, I've got bonus archery, uh, bless weapon enchantment. Uh, my basic attacks do 7 to 16 damage with the two acid attacks, so there's a chance that I could kill him if I roll high enough. 70% chance to hit. Sending it. Oh, Unfortunately, shame. it misses. However, um, I can spend my bonus action making an extra attack uh, because I'm a level 5 ranger, so I'm going to fire again. Mm -hmm. ah, this is again, unfortunately. Uh, from here, then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find a nice quiet spot in the room. And I'm going to uh, go and do a dreadful ambush. I'm going to try and hide. And I'm going to start moving through here if I can. So uh, if I can maintain this, then I'll get advantage on my next attack. Ending turn. Uh-oh. Dirge has got a bomb. Is that a Please bomb? don't kill me, Dirge. <laughs> what are you throwing? It's a kind of bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pipe bomb. Uh, oh, God. Oh, bloody hell. Nice. They're burning. Nicely yep. done. That's good. Well done. Turn. I didn't have magic, so I'd fall and back on alchemy. I oh. am dead. I can no, still man. keep his concentration. Right, fuck oh, you. Oh, guiding bolt for me, lab. please. Whoa. Ah, he missed. Good hey. Nice. Oh. My god, he's still keeping silence. Oh, oh Jesus. What the fuck? Yeah. I just really zoomed in on his feet then. Oh, yeah. Know, Ow. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. Aha. Oh, it's the barbarian getting in there. Look at that. All right, then. Well I'm going to rage next turn. I'm going to kill these motherfuckers. Okay. Uh, so my turn. I may as well just get in there and start swinging, frankly. Yeah. So uh, f forgive me, guys. I'll be back with you in a second. Lump Beef Broth slowly climbs down and then fights like a brave warrior man that I am. Okay. So I'm going to just start slashing, frankly. Um, hmm. Threaten. Why is he? Oh, of course. They don't. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to go with a lacerate for a bleed on nice. the main big bad over here. So lacerate with the glaive. I swing for 88%. Nice he is one. now nice. lacerated. Now, since I am a level 5 fighter, I get a second free attack. I'm going to follow up, follow up with a disarming attack against Novice Gamor over here to try and bash the weapon out of his hand. His weapon hey. has been dropped. Well I'm then oh. going to use action surge, giving me another attack. I'm then going to use rush attack on Gek Cole to try and stagger him or knock him off balance or whatever it is. I missed. And then lastly, I'm going to try. I could flee if I wanted to. You're going to take an opportunity attack, I think, if you just if you flee. Can I shove one of them? I don't think I'm at the right angle. No. Okay, I'm just going to use my lash attack to get a bit of damage on him then. So lash, 45%. That's it. That's nice. all I can do. Have fun. I'll take care of these two. Uh, bear heart. Okay, that sounds terrifying. Rage bear heart. Pick up his weapon, isn't he? Uh, deals two damage with just melee. Throw me. Just throw right. Something. Okay. I am going to rage if I can. Do I have any rage? No. I have no charges of rage left. Looks like we need to do this the old-fashioned way. Aha! <laughs> have some of that, you bastard. Um. Chat. Did I have a third attack? Are you sure? Don't I get two attacks? My go. Cool. Right. In fact, actually, I don't provoke opportunity attacks, do I? Yeah. Bye! Oh. Ah. Okay, never mind. Oh, I see. Action Surge actually refreshes the bonus you get from 5th level fighter. Oh, today I learned. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry, dude. 
What I'm going to do um, is, Mr. So I've managed to maintain my uh, stealth, my ambush. So what I'm going to do uh, is creep my way over to the edge of this ledge here. Uh, from this position, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, activate a Hunter's Mark for 1d6 of bonus piercing damage on Mr. Gek here. Thank you. With him now marked, I can fire from the high ground here. I've got a 95% chance to hit on him. So what I'm going to do is go into my passives, activate all in for a 5A penalty and plus 10 damage roll for a 17 to 26 hit. 75% chance to hit. Shot going in. 28 Ooh, damage hey. plus two. He well is done. gone. Hunt completed. I'm going to maintain my position and end my turn. Do you not get a free shot with the... Hunt complete? Uh, no, because my bonus action was spent um, applying the Hunter's Mark. Ah, okay. Good shot, sir. Okay. Good shot. Thank you. Um, I've managed to eke out a small area where I'm not <laughs> silenced. That's <laughs> um, got his face pushed against uh, the wall. Every, yeah. Everybody else is burning, so I'm actually going to go for your target. Um, so yeah. You'll never hit him. So surely. I'm going to hit him with what? four. Magic missiles. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, magic missile. I think you don't need oh, wow. to. Oh wow! Oh look at that! Oh wow! Yeah. No, they, thank you. That hits regardless. That's cool. <laughs> I I once made someone so salty and never went to nights with magic missiles. Oh yeah. It, so it was a multiplayer. It's a very short, it's like twenty man server, and the whole server got together for a PvP fight. Right. And this one guy stacked fast daggers or some shit with crit, but I was a sorcerer pale mistress. So I I was immune oh, to crit. Oh, Yes! That <laughs> nice! So I just stood there in the corner spamming magic missiles until he was dead. <laughs> he got so angry with me. Right, okay. Uh, my turn, nothing fancy, just gonna smack him. Oh, tell you what. So, sacrificing movement speed, Lump Beef Broth braces his melee weapon for my main attack. Then I'm going to swing, and I should. Uh, it's, it doesn't give me advantage on damage, I think it is, so the highest damage roll. I swing for 70%. Seven, seven oh, pfft. No, that's I swing right. again. Yeah, seven damage is better than nothing. Six damage. <laughs> that, that's better than nothing, genuinely. Just take it. Oh, okay. That's all I can do, I'm afraid. Chat, is that all I can do? Chat's yelling at me because I had a third attack and I didn't use it last time. Uh, he's just going to shove him. Just fuck him. Nope. Whoop. Aha! I, being uh, the noble hero that I am, stand uh, up and cast again. Thunder wave at level one. Thunder wave. Go away, you bastard. Shot a chuck wheelbarrow at him. <laughs> yeah. what, the, uh, what camera? What? What are we doing? Cam Baldur's Gate three. What are we doing? <laughs> are you seeing my stream? <laughs> I didn't do this. The camera did it automatically. You're, you're staring at the arse. <laughs> the dwarf is presenting. <laughs> I'm going to do an go. Eldritch Blast on Reanimated Corpse and the Drugar. Uh, just won't die. Nice. He's uh, still refusing to die. <laughs> I'm he now is. focusing on Reanimated Corpse ass. <laughs> yeah, you, to you had well. it too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. So the chap down here, next to our very own Lump Beef Broth, I'm mm -hmm. going to keep my uh, Sharpshooter passive active here. I've got an 80% chance to hit. I'm going to use my bonus action to reapply. No, I'm not, because I'm silenced. Not, can't reapply the Hunter's Mark, so I'm just going to go for the shot. Uh, 17 to 26 damage, 80% chance to hit. Shot going in. 8 damage. Hmm. Uh, I'm then going to have a look here. Uh, I could try and get down there and then go for a free hit into his back. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. 65% chance to hit. I'm going to drop down and run and attack him if I can. He has a high uh, damage to yeah resistance from the rage, says chat. Yeah. Oh, yes, because he's raging. He takes yeah. half damage from all sources. Everything but psychic yeah. damage. Bear, Bear Heart gives him uh, resistance to... Um, Thank you. Thank Hello. Please stab him. That, Jazz. Okay, doing my best. So main hand attack, 6 to 11 damage. Uh, can I put dual cast on that? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Right. 65% chance to hit going in for a swing. Thank you. Nice one. Right. Excellent stuff. You two and then him. I end my turn. I think I'm going to move out of the way so you can get to the ladder a bit easier. Ending turn. All right. Oh, oh guiding bolt. Psionic backlash. 
Oh, 16 damage. Oh, Fucking half health, me. Oh, shit. What? Is he going to swing? Missed. Right, cool. Alright, Lumpy uh, as well. Keep going. So, Lumpy Froth is going to come and help you. Ah, not enough movement points. Hang on. Can I use dash? Uh, where's it gone again? Sorry, bear with me. I'm being rubbish. Okay, Lumpy Froth uses dash. I'm going to try and come up there and get you. Uh, right, running, running, running. Okay. Then all I can do, I'm afraid, is my bonus action. So I'm going to smack this guy with my lash and hopefully kill him for 80%. Um, oh, did I get him? Okay. No, almost. I'm Anything? gonna throw an alchemist. Oh no, I'm not. Come on, grease. Not set the grease alight. I'm not gonna do that. All what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go back to old faithful, which is vicious mockery. Whoop. Hey, you! I'm gonna turn you into a fucking carpet, you prick! Majesty of the oh, he saved Save. it. Saved it, and I did no damage. <laughs> he Shit. just does not want to die. No, he doesn't. Uh, okay. I'm going to move to here. Ah, uh, ha, ha, there we go. And then I'm going to turn around. Any turn. Okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to use the uh, necklace that I have to misty step up onto the high ground here with you guys. Um, so I'm going to dive through and appear next to you chaps. I'm then going to fire my crossbow into this chap's back for a 60% chance to hit. I'm going to turn... Now, my passive is off. He's just really tanky. So, 60% chance to hit him in the back. Shooting. He oh, is finally. dead. Woo. Oh, now I have butt yeah. camera. Um... <laughs> okay. That was saying that I'm supposed to get, like, a, an... Ex uh, there we go. So, if I click common, then I can actually shoot again. So, firing again. Yay! Oh. Hey. Well done, everyone. Thank you. Um, we are probably but it's weird. It's listed here. Rest. Okay, we saved the lady with a big head. Okay. This guy had a big axe. I wonder if perhaps... Ooh, interesting. Gentlemen, he has a fish. Is that it? No, he's got some other stuff too. An exterminator's axe. Holy shit. Um... So 1d12 plus 3 slashing with a permanent fire buff on it. Scourge of Pest deals an additional 1-6 damage to plants, insects, or small creatures. Dirge will love it then. Do you want it, Dirge? Uh, sorry, what's the arm? It has a buff against small creatures. I'll send it to you. What, my bitch? <laughs> Hang on. Them's your squirrel killing boots, son. Yeah. Fish head... Right, okay. Sorry, chat was just clearing something up. Okay, so they've just they've just cleared something up for me. Uh -huh. So I've got, like, this extra attack, but it's not been, like, appearing on my hotbar for, like, ages. Okay. Uh, but they've just figured that out for me now. Um, so I can fire three times in the first turn of combat with that high damage that I do. My passive, like, where I uh, basically have ten damage but a reduced hit chance, I can just leave that on. That doesn't cost anything. And then I can use my dreadful ambush to open, and then I get to attack, and then use a free attack because I'm a level five ranger. So I get to attack three times with that high damage, the high damage spell. Right. In in oh, cool. uh, in the opening turn, and then twice every other time. So, oh my god, my damage just got it actually kind of ridiculous to be honest. Yeah. My single target damage has just got it insane. Um, do we want to just quickly jog back up to the mic in the camp now that we've killed these yeah, guys? Yeah, can do. Hold on. See what they hold say. On, hold on. Uh, I will. I'm going to cast this scroll of aid very quickly. Wait, 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 make, sure wait, wait. make sure within you're close to me. Scroll of aids coming up. You just. You all need to be within this mm -hmm. uh, little circle, mm -hmm. including you, Dirge, if that's possible. What circle? Oh, no yeah, circle? Yeah, yeah. He's just right, right with him. He can scroll see. Scroll of aid. Scroll of aids. Oh, your it hit point hit maximum is now increased by five, and you are healed until long rest. It didn't get dirge. Yeah. He was on the low ground. It didn't, oh, didn't hit him. God oh, damn it. Well. Right. I'm going to jog back up to what's yeah. it. Also, where's this uh, special ability that I've got? This. 
this, where's this click heels thing that I'm supposed to have? Where's that gone now? Um, it might be in your common. Yeah, yeah, is it listed under bonus action? Supposed to have it. Passives. Let's just, just keep jogging. Hang on, look at that. Be with you in a minute, just doing something important. It's the winged boot, is it? That's mm. dash, isn't it? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's just normal dash. Supposed to have another ability. Oh, no, there it is. No, I end the bonus action. You are right. So click heals to gain. Alright, hang on, on the way. Speed is doubles. Enemies have damage on opportunity attacks. Haha, <laughs> penis mushrooms. Custom tab. Drag spells and items from your character sheet. Is that K, is it? Okay, on my way to you. Yeah, I can just put the stuff that I'm using here, can't I? The keels. Sorry, what are we doing here? I wasn't paying attention. Um, so yeah, we are, uh, so just bear with me here, just while I sort out my hot bar. Um... You can make a custom hot bar. What I'm learning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, hmm. Is that nice axe? Oh, it's a big axe. Relevant yeah. to the numbers. Hmm. Hitting strike. So all my melee stuff oh. in one place. Hmm. Oh, can you not use a shield at the same time? No, it's a big two-hander. Uh, it's two-hander. Yeah. Okay. I might yeah, try. I might that. try using. You, 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 sorry, you gave it back. Yeah, yeah. Um, the I, I should be using staves. Um, and I've finally got one that gives me a spell. So until I can find a better one, not much point. Okay. Um, I, I don't have any rings. I need rings that do magical, yes. shiny things, but I don't have... I don't think we've found any that really suit me. Here's a ring. Put that on. An entire village if seen it properly. I sent it back. That's not what I meant. Oh, but it's a friendship <laughs> ring, dude. I sent it to you as an act of friendship. Don't reject it. God, don't reject a gift. What you do Jesus is you Christ. say... You're you, right. say <laughs> you say thank you kindly, and then you quietly get rid of it years later or whatever. <laughs> Thank you. You don't throw a gift back at somebody. Oh dear. <laughs> uh. Okay, we did pretty well fun. on that fight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of impressed to be honest. I'm yeah. pretty happy as well. I got my ass kicked three times in that fight before I won it, and I was the same level as we are now. Hey. I think the. Because there's four of us, we're all able to balance our equipment really well. I think in single player, I get fed up of micromanaging three other NPCs and their gear. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. I've just built a, like a custom hotbar now. That's pretty... Right, yeah. okay. Um. So, do we go and talk to Big Mike and Man and let him know that we've killed those people? Because there was Mike talk of those. Ooh. Yeah, I think we probably should. Uh, hang on. I can have a word with the mushroom if you like, or if you, we want to. Right. Uh, just going to sell this bit. Sorry, does this guy have the armor that I want to save for? Uh, the gnome, yeah, she does. It's uh, the AC 17 chainmail. Yeah, which okay. do you have? I'll trade in my existing armor. Ladies, contain yourselves. What happens if I take off my underpants oh, in the game? Give him, uh, you will... <laughs> You're, uh, yes. you, get, you get your knob out. <laughs> uh, what, um, so what's, the relevance of, what's the relevance of dual wielding? As in, it, it, if I dual, is dual wielding just free extra damage and you should always do it if you're not using a shield? Or is there an advantage so, to just using a single one-handed weapon and leaving your offhand free? So, with some weapons, so if I um, get your character up, so the steel forged sword is a short sword, so um, it does one d six base damage. If what? you had a long sword, hmm. a long sword in one hand will do one d eight, but if you can use two hands, it does one d ten. So you get an extra two, or you know, you get to up, up increase the dice. That can be good in some conditions, or not so good in others. Right. 
if you are dual wielding weapons, you do get extra damage and it lets you use your bonus action to roll damage. Um, right. You're rolling the damage of the weapon, but without any proficiency bonuses. Right. Um, which is why it won't do as much as your main hand, unless you take a feat, I believe. So basically, um, so if I've got a free offhand with a weapon that is just one hand, it's got light, it's got um, finesse, then yeah. there's really no reason not to take a second one. Because like uh, sure. in Divinity, for example, your free hand punch or something. Yeah, so if you're focusing on damage output, dual wield. If yep. you feel like you're a little bit papery, um, equip a shield. So right, like my character, I have a shield and I'm one-handing my staff because I don't go in melee. Right. So there's no point in dual wielding on my stave. Right. So okay. I'm getting the the bonus of having a shield which is giving me plus two AC. So I've got seventeen base AC. So, so uh, sorry to interrupt you, social. That armor that you said that was good for me. Do you, can you remember what it was called? Uh, just mouse over if it's got seventy. I think it was a chainmail plus one. Yeah, and it says. Didn't you say it had like strength on it or something? No, there's <laughs> uh, another. Another heavy armor that costs uh, two and a half times oh, that, that has okay. advantage on strength checks, I think. Cool. Thank you. I'll just see if I can buy this. I might need to ask for some money. Sorry. Yeah, that's hey. fine. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I've got uh, uh, yeah, 1.2k, so I can send you as much as you need. Thank you. Hang on, let's have a look. You just tell me what you oh, need. No, no I, might, I might have it. I might have it. Hang on. If I sell my existing armor. I think I'll get away with it. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. Is that correct? Have I, chat, have I fucked up? I'm no, nervous. I'm, my, my, chat, my chat's... I'm fucking up like every 10 minutes now. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's just the nature of playing an RPG <laughs> game with people watching, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There, there you, you go. go. And then you got chip mail. So, gaze at my magnificence, everybody. Ooh. Oh, look at you. Oh, it's bloody. You couldn't clean it, love? Uh, would you like to dye it? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's go to camp. I thought, I thought, uh, oh, it's back to camp? Yeah, yeah. We should probably yeah, take yeah. a long rest, and, actually, because uh, I'm running low on spell slots. Uh, we got another short in us. I'm just buying, like, a load of dyes from her, so I guess I can Ooh, just, like, start just pulling these off. So, I have <laughs> white and scarlet. Uh. I've got sage green. I've got pink and leaf green. Um... Uh, sure, I had some more. Ah, oh, there we go. I've also got indigo dye. I've got dye remover, and you should, in your own chest, have Drake general dye. Ooh. Uh, what does it look like? Sorry, hang on. Uh, like a bottle. Um. Oh wait, you didn't have this game before we did this, did you? Game? What? Did you buy this before it came out? I no, no, God no. <laughs> <laughs> no, so did I pre-purchase uh, the game? Yeah, no, there was there's like I a see. um, you get the the deluxe version. Ugh, ugh, no, no, no. I mean, um, like, uh, what, what's the closest you it. have to hot pink? What's the most obnoxious color that you have? Oh, okay, I've got it. I'm sending it to you right now. Hold on. Cool, uh, thank right, you. Right, confirm. Uh, right, where the fuck did that go in my inventory? I've got, uh, so yeah, I mean, I've got a couple of dyes as well. There you go. It's on the ground, so Ooh. yeah. Thank you. Pink and leaf green. Oh my <laughs> fucking Let's god. So this what do I do? Combine awful. it so right, what? right click it, combine, uh -huh. then combine. drag your armor piece into the other slot and then combine them. Uh, I see. Combine. I got it. Uh, I, I think I'm stupid. Uh, there we go. Combine. Here we go. All right, ready? Mm, put it, put them on. Yep. Gaze at my magnificence. Uh, yeah, it's good. That's not too it looks bad. All right. bad. Yeah. yeah, I was hoping it'd be like hot pink or some shit. I'd change my armor to like be a, like a, it's called ocean, so like a yeah. blue. Uh, we've we, got uh, loads of people in red. Should we talk to Gale? What the magic junkie? Yeah, I've All got right. an item that I can give him. All right. What's he doing? Is he is he fucking is he what's it? Is it tweaking? Is that what it's called? What was it with the, the, the flinching when they haven't had heroin? Hang on. I don't know. 
Yep, junk in artifact. I'm gonna give him. Are you trading? Uh, yeah, moon... he's giving him the his hit, he's giving him the spoon. <laughs> and the uh, yeah, I'm gonna give him the pennant. Donate. There you go. Thank you. Look at him. He really is. Huh? Sorry, meth. I meant to say meth, not heroin. Sorry, for the chat's benefit, he eats magical items. Good gods. Yes. I don't know what to make of this. Three artifacts is a positive glut of magic. Yet my hunger only grows. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on. You're among friends. <laughs> to a degree. I'd just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. That's what I am right. is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. More riddles? I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. And from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. He's a fellow Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries, the Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. <laughs> a bit of a weird you, teacher relationship. You, you boinked your... <laughs> Are you telling you wanted to get an a. love to a goddess? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> we enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind and soul. But even so, I desired more. More than you see, a no goddess? matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross <laughs> her boundaries. <laughs> How <laughs> exactly did you try and cross those boundaries? To try to convince her. With some music. Counted, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lots of lubrication. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. One finger. She only smiled and told me Two to be contented. Two fingers. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid is this, finale? Is this just a long story about erectile dysfunction? Eh? I, think he's, I think he's trying I'm to intrigued. bummer. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms, until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess. <laughs> Number two. Guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates all together then. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. <laughs> I was mistaken. <laughs> I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. Right. Are we still thinking of, thinking of the sex? Yeah. Yep. Here. Yeah. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Careful. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. <laughs> into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. So he's, he's feeding the fragment? Yes, yes. He's got this piece of unchecked weave. This like, netherese blight. This orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Can't he just go to the woman he was banging and say, Hi, I fucked up. I tried to get you a gift and now it's eating me. erupt. <laughs> I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. He is a walking magical nuke. Okay. <laughs> so why couldn't he go to the goddess of magic and say help? Uh, is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I, I think we try and cure him. What do you think, guys? Oh, yes. Cure, uh, yeah, cure the magical nuclear device that's sitting <laughs> in the heart of our camp. Could come handy. Stick him in the barrel. <laughs> yes. When we're fighting <laughs> God. Gale, blow yeah. up now. Get, if yeah, we were to part it. ways, where would you go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the absolute overtakes me. Oh. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could. Till they cloud my eyes forever. With a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a mind flare colony so that when the orb erupts, one loud last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark wouldn't be a heroic end but coarsely poetic enough in its justice hmm okay we we've come this far together and we'll continue on together that's how it will be that is a great relief oh a great relief indeed you truly are a soul that steals my own from all my new rallied heart i thank you I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. You're not winning like Either a Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. <clears throat> I stand at a precipice. Oh, God. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. If now. Carlock doesn't work out, mate. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Seems like you're in. Let us venture forth. <laughs> You know, I've just realized something uh, from like a narrative game design perspective. So mm. that artifact that, the, what was it? You know the artifact that's stopping the turn and we thought it was? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is, it, yeah. is it here in the camp? I yes. have. Because I, yeah, that, that could have been a, a, a pretty easy way of explaining why all of these people are, oh quick, go to that. the camp, go to the camp. Like instead of, hey, let's party with you, it's, hey, this artifact is stopping us turning. Go, quick, be in close proximity to it, you know? Which sort of yeah. forces us as a party and NPCs to be near each other, even though we don't well, like each other. Yeah, that's what. I, yeah, that's kind of what I was explaining to uh, my chat at the start. Is that like I, that you guys aren't necessarily company I would normally keep, mm. but I've got we've got to remain in proximity to the artifact. Yeah. I've got no choice but to travel with you but until I'd, we solve yeah. this. What are you I, trying I'm, to say? I'm... <laughs> well, I figured it would it would have been cool to make that a bit more overt, like maybe have like yeah. a pedestal in the middle of the camp or something. Because hmm. otherwise yeah. it feels a bit I'm... odd. It's like, hey, I'll hang with you. We've had one conversation. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to hmm. examine the artifact more closely. Yeah, where is it? Is it in your... Oh, you pulled it out of his ass. Yeah. 
curious ornate box. Its many sides are engraved Hold with indecipherable no. glyphs. Oh, I can't give you a bonus for this. It's already no, taken us this long to examine it. How long have you had this? <laughs> We'd like to start a fucking chapter. A while. A while. Good. No openings you can see, yet you sense something inside it. Hmm. Uh, don't, uh, mm, uh, don't, don't Thank you, it, Fushi. Please. Thank you very much, Fushi. The box doesn't yield. Don't okay. break it. Put it away. <laughs> Maybe we just don't know about, enough about it yet. Yeah. Right. right we'll sure. take our yeah. long rest so we're fresh yeah, for the next. Yeah, good idea. Oh, aren't we going to talk to Mike and him, man? Or are we going to do that Mike. next oh. time? Yeah, just to get yeah, the reward. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close the quest. Yeah, close the quest and then we'll sleep. Close the quest? Where are we going? We're we leaving the camp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. leaving the camp. Mike we're talking to, talking to the oh, guy. Oh, shit. I'm in chat. Oh, yeah. It greets you with a oh. harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. I'll know when everybody's in, and I'll not I mean, move forward. I really do like my headpiece. Hmm. Yeah, oh, looks good, looks man, good. I miss my hat, though. Yeah, it looks good. Be also, I like, I like sure. the creature design here. You like yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, right, so the Durgar are slain. The rot has been purged. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Yes. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. Woo! Loot. The guardian Loot everything. gate is open. Go and claim your reward. Okay. But before this, I have another boon to ask No, 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 no. We fulfilled our contract. <laughs> you have cut out the Dwergarb light, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow oh, striding another on Myconid dead. Near. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. Do you really want to start a fight with the drow? Uh. I don't know who we haven't started a fight with yet. I'm, I'm only, I'm only, I think I'm the, you know, the, the drow Probably terrify me. reward for this, I hope. I ask a boon, and will give one in return. Already the opened drow the treasure lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death, and return. Okay. Okay, then. More importantly. Like killing a drow. Huh. Ah. Oh yeah, you did find it. Oh look! It's the treasure vault. Look, look in here, guys. Oh Jesus, we're getting some experience. Shadow of something, what's this? Hang on. I picked up a, a, a blob. A scroll of blindness. Light armor. Oh, it's a hat. Hang on, what's this? Maybe Q might like this. Oh wow. Look at this hat. Look, Can look, you guys look, look. wait for me before you start looting? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look at this hat, you. Oh. Hang on. It do does. One the, do one of the nightingales from Skyrim. Yeah. Uh, what does it do? Look at that. Is it T? How do you, how do you look at the item? I think it's T when you mouse over the lines on Ooh. it, like, like the specials. You'd love this. Holy shit. Put this on. Put this on, Q. Okay. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on. Send it to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Jesus. Put it on. Okay. Ah! Shrouded in shadow. Invisibility. Oh, become yeah. invisible. Invisibility ends if you attack. Okay, okay. so yeah, it's an yeah, invisibility you, you item. Stealth and set up for an attack. Nice. There you kind go. Of look like someone out of Mortal Kombat now. You do. <laughs> look at that. Get yeah. over here. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, nice. One for a rogue. 
Yeah. Right. Oh, a cool. large bottle. That's mine. Oh, it's an apple. That's mine. Tomato. Even. Right. Should we head back to camp? Yeah. 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 Do you have any, does anybody have any blue dye? Uh, you you really really you want to match the colors now that oh, you just yeah, got it? Of course it? I do. Is is that urgent? Is it? Yeah yeah of course. Right. Just asking if anybody had any. Uh, if they don't, then they don't. Afraid not. Uh, I've good. got some red dye. Yeah, look, we've got plenty of red. That's all right. I've got some white and scarlet. That's fine. We'll live. I'll I'll live. Oh well. Very cool. Thank you, Soviet. Yeah. Well, I was in the room. Right. Oh. Long rest. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow. I need to put my my well earned gains. Right. All got yeah. <laughs> I've got some sage green dye. Uh, no, I'll be all right. I'll I'll live with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven bodies in there. Okay. Actually, and I wonder what indigo. indigo. I've got indigo. That's probably the closest. That's all good. Yeah. Blood plum. Right. Long right. rest. Long rest we shall. And then I think Where that's us done. Yeah. Oh. oh, what's going on? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Will. <laughs> what's he doing? Oh, oh yes, he said Hell's something fun. bad would happen. Yeah. She's coming. Did he make, like, an oath or some shit? Oh, God. Oh. Is it the Satan bloke? Yeah, he, he he's a warlock. Oh. Oh, oh titties. <laughs> Love. Sorry. Lady. Hi. Well, you've been naughty, and you know what happens when you're naughty. <laughs> God damn it! Anyone but her. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm in God's sake. <laughs> take the clothes off. What? But just, just for God's sake, like, just you <laughs> cannot be our representative in those clothes. <laughs> uh, shut up. Yes, I am. Uh, who in the nine hills are you? Well, you. Absolute stinker! You kept me a secret? Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. Font. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. Oh, no. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. <laughs> By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupsters found his bark. Clause G, section 9. Target oh, shall God. be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Ah. A literal sense. Yeah. Uh, three, okay. three, 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 three. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop standing for Karlak. Three. Um, if we kill Karlak now, will they get rid of you? Well, gotta be, it could be really funny, to be fair, right? Because if you, because if you stick up for Karlak, you might be able to get into bed with her before Soviet, before uh, Digby does, and that might be really funny. What Karlak? No, I don't want to romance Karlak. Don't, well, don't I mean... pick three. Don't pick three. Uh... <laughs> don't, don't pick three. Uh, hang on a minute. I've heard enough. You're not leaving. Are we fighting Satan? Uh, hang on. Uh, can, blast it! Can we, can we take on a god? <laughs> Get to the point, it's devil. A God. What do you want? The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. Oh, no. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. <laughs> I oh, know. That's better. You turn him into a What the hells have you done? The 
promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. <laughs> on me? Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Pretty sure I've dated her. Right. Okay. We can speak to Karlak. Uh, I think we could. You can speak to Karlak. You want to speak to Karlak? Oh. Not going to be in the mood, mate. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life there over you his. You're in the friend zone, mate. Been a long time <laughs> since someone stuck That's their really neck funny. out for me like that. You must be believed. You must be relieved. Gobsmacked, really. But grateful. Really grateful. I could learn a thing or two from a man like that. <laughs> Hopefully we won't turn into mind flayers first. Yep, you, you're so friends though, dude. You just stood in the background. You're now an NPC in the romance between Karlak and Will. God! I'm going to go have a conversation <laughs> with Will. Uh. Okay. Right, let's talk about Will. Yeah, if, if he turns Will. around and be like, mm, "Damn, I really like that Carlac -like woman." That's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he talking? Oh, yeah. God's Get damn her! Now. Straight, Go I'd away. be hunting devils no, and demons. She said, "Traitors Please, and hypocrites, heartless evils away. of all sorts." Um, but not, not oh, sorry, I can't really leave this conversation. Um, not innocent tieflings. Why do you want to go to Moonrise Towers? Hmm? You're in a different conversation. Yeah, sorry, I just. I locked eyes with him just for a moment, and now he's talking me to death. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, you're lucky she didn't take your soul when she came. I'd count my lucky stars for it, but I reckon luck is on holiday. I'm only alive because my patron still has use for me. It's Mazora who grants me the power to <laughs> conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before you can? I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, Every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Right. I really don't <laughs> care. <laughs> yes. He feels like... Who's that? Uh, you know the Mass Effect character? Uh, who, uh, fuck, what's his name? He's uh, the bloke that no one cares about. Oh, I, don't fuck, know. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Uh, Alongside Miranda. Right. Sure. Shall we go back anyway. to sleep before anybody yeah. else decides to come yeah. to the fucking yeah. party? Yeah, Jacob, that was it, yeah, yeah. He's the Jacob of the party. Yeah. Right. Alright. Oh. Well, thank you for the oh, game, why guys. Why are your feet my fucking face? <laughs> you bastard. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Oh, God. Oh, is it private? Yep. See you in a minute. I promised I'd be back. So chat, it's weird, like... Don't worry. I have things under control. Hmm. For now. This I woman see saved you've my been life using earlier. the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Uh, okay. Well, what should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsey knew this, his instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Hmm. Some grand plot is underway involving all of those illithid tadpoles. Okay, so destroy the source of the magic and I, I can, I'll be free to remove it. I thought you said you could protect me. From transforming into a mind flayer, yes. 
But that is not the only thing these parasites can do. We've noticed. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Why are you protecting me? Because I am just like you. And I need an ally. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Hmm. Where can I find you? Wait, what do you need me to do? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Hmm. How interesting, chat. I assumed she was a deity, but sounds like she's just a mortal. Someone who was in our position a long time ago. God, everybody snores so fucking yeah. loud in this. Just waiting for Q. It's cool, though. Very. Cool. Yeah. I love Did how... you get a better explanation of yeah. uh, what's going on? Let's yeah. talk about that in a minute when you do. You guys. I love how the camp changes from location to location. Yeah, it's a really oh, nice touch. Oh. Am I binged? Okay. Seems that book on flumps was not all it appeared to oh, be. Oh, the dog's here! The dog's here? Yeah, hold on. Oh, the dog's here! Well, hang on. We got like law shit to talk about. Are you going to talk to the dog? Oh God! Okay. Hang on, he's talking Hope to the dog. Hope you're keeping well, yeah, friend. Yeah. I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master, friend. I stayed with him until, until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Yeah, I'll give him a bit. Is he going to recall? Shadow heart approves. Car like approves. Oh yeah. <laughs> your face. No. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? No. So, Who's a good doggy? Yeah, go again. <laughs> Who's a good doggy? Yes, yeah, Scratch so, is a good doggy. While he's petting the dog, I was yeah, I was visited by a dream person. Yes, the same woman that spoke to me in a dream from before came back. I, I tried to ask her some probing questions, but she was rather evasive. Yeah. Spoke but, about mm. um the absolute being a, a basically a form of control yeah, you were over, right. over people. Um, it seems to be that the absolute... I mean, I don't know whether you guys, but like... So it's... Is it like an illithid plot? Is I, it something to do with the illithid? I, I, I thought it wasn't, but then she said in mine that they could turn into mind flayers in, flayers an, in instant. an instant. Yeah. 
So, 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 yeah. I'm wondering if this cult is actually the mind... Like, I wonder if the, the absolute, the voice that we're hearing is actually just that of an illithid sort of ploy in order to convince people that what they're actually hearing or being controlled by is some sort of deity, some sort of God when in reality it. they're serving yeah. this sort of grand design of, yeah. the, of the mind flayers. And, and how, she yeah. said, uh, sorry, she said that like she was in my position. She, so I assumed she was a deity or something. Yeah. But, but it sounds like she was also infected, and so she was mortal. My worry yeah. is, right, is... What I, I don't I, I don't really understand <laughs> like what like I'm I'm kind of dubious to trust her because I, I think the box that we carry uh -huh. is what's protecting us from the mind like from turning I guess I don't know it's the box seems to suppress the will of the absolute if my theory correct is correct the will of the absolute is that of a lithid will yeah. like the absolute is of a lithid design and therefore is this woman also part of this like grand design as in like is this woman trying to deceive us in such a way to gain our trust to serve the same cause because if the box is keeping me safe this woman could just be spinning a yarn you know she, she I, I don't but why why would they be directing us like why are we away from the tower already surely surely Stop if... throwing the ball at uh, shadow heart what makes us special? We're just a bunch of randos that got picked off the street of Baldur's Gate. Maybe they need that? Yeah. Maybe they need the ignorance? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it... Are you throwing the ball at Shadowheart? Yeah, he's throwing the ball at Shadowheart. Yeah. Um, so maybe, I'm calling it now, she's in the box. Like that box that's blocking it and her, like it's, it's inside the box. It's like, a, it's like a dimension inside the box. Reckon? I'm, I'm just calling it now. I'm like, it seems... It seems like I, something that would make sense. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 careful! Oh God! Oh Jesus Christ! Careful! We've just had a long rest. It's all right. He's okay. Oh I've wait! Saved. I've saved. You've saved. Don't don't we save? Can we? You know. Are you Hold talking on. about having can a we, fucking duel? Can we do what we did Hold in Divinity? On. I don't know thing? whether we can actually have like a proper combat. Oh, tell me the, the yeah, thing in the game. Yeah, turn, enter turn based. Okay. All right. So, sorry okay. for the chat's benefit. At the end of the Divinity streams, we we went. So we had a ship called the Lady Vengeance. Oh and yeah, we, we used to have little. <clears throat> we used to train there on each other. Yeah. At the end of each stream, we we went to the quarter deck and we just had a duel. Can we do that? Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. let me uh, just heal up the fill. There we go. All right. You guys right, ready? So who's going first? <coughs> well, well, okay. Oh, I see. Tau's first on the... Yeah, oh, I think the... that's the only problem. Oh, it keeps... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it works. Can't. No, no, oh, well. I'm exiting so I can get away from being right next to Q and these stabby swords. Well, we have to... We'll just take it in turns as if... As if it were turn-based. So Q goes first based on his yeah. initiative. Okay. Okay. If that's how you want to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. Um, the thing is, if I, if I go invisible, you guys are going to be able to see me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, that sucks. Let's you... let's not. We can't let's leave not. the party? No, because we're going to then need to... Those of us who are casters are going to need to long rest again to get our fucking spell. No, 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 no he saved it. I've saved the game. Oh, okay. Can we, Can we just test that we could load it and get everything back before we commit to this? Is there a big save that you did? I will make a very big save called Campsite. We've been playing for 27 hours. Jesus Christ. But like, in right, Divinity, we'd leave the, the party, wouldn't we? This. Yeah, because I'm not in combat, I don't get to use most of my abilities. Yeah, maybe maybe it doesn't work. Yeah, as in like, uh, so if we were in combat, I'd be able to open with my dreadful ambush yeah. and stuff, but because we're technically not... Uh, I think it's yeah. just for traversing around environments, really, this turn-based thing. So that you can, like, comfortably yeah. get your team through, like, maybe a gauntlet of, like, traps. Without having to, like, play Guitar Hero on the keyboard. Because in Divinity, you could, like, legit leave the party. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You? You, could, you could challenge someone to a fight, yeah. But that doesn't seem to be a oh, thing in this. Oh, that's a pity. Yeah. Oh, oh well. well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you for the game, guys. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Likewise. Thank you for uh, finding this so, out for me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, Wednesday or no? Yeah, I can think I can do Wednesday. I can do Wednesday? Yeah. I can do Wednesday. Digby? Digby ran away to go playing bathroom. Oh, yeah. Um, when he comes back, do you want to just all wheel on his car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come over here. Come over here. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get, get over here. I'll queue, I'll queue up a couple of Eldritch. No, no, just like hold your weapon up, like comically. Like, they're getting the frame for the shot for the recording. Yeah. Q, Q, get on the right side. Get on the right side. Yeah. Come out still, so he, can, he looks, I've got looks a, good I, on the recording. I'm waiting for it to. No, no, no. Expire. Just for the recording. For the. I'm, I'm, for I'm waiting for it to. I'm, it's got a timeout. Okay. Ready. <laughs> uh, gotta hold the camera still. Scripted content, folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Scripted content. Yeah, it's all gone downhill, everybody. Yeah, fuck that. This is where we're all swinging in. Yeah. Fucking hell, how long does it take to piss? This is where it just logs off, like closes closes the game. Oh, F ten hides the UI. Huh? Huh? I can't see. Digby. Well, I think that I think if if I was him. Yeah. And I'd realised that what we were doing, I would have gone to made a cup of cup of tea or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I just like, all right then. Fucking hell, Digby! Got like a fucking sheep's bladder. <laughs> the dog wants in as well. Don't you dare hit that dog. Don't you dare hit me, I'm watching what you're doing, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm watching you, I'm fucking watching you changing targets. What do you, what do you, you mean? You brummy motherfucker, I'm seeing I'm your, just looking around. your cursor. Just looking around. Right. Oh fuck it, I've got to go to bed. <laughs> uh, he's stealing from him. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I stole from him. Ready, 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 I hear it. He's coming. I swear I heard Messi. He probably did. To be fair, they might. There could be some time. They could be doing their tiefling roleplay fetish thing. Yeah, putting on the red paint. Like, if you get a bone carlac, do you think you gotta like stuff ice cubes in a bum hole or something? <laughs> Just a jet of hot steam while you're doing it. Is that the way you burn your dick off? <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, if you're going to do it with her, she's got like a fire in her body. Like, you're legit just going to burn your penis. Going to find some way of cooling it. Uh, I think I can brew a portion of fire resistance. Ah, oh, it's probably a better okay, idea. There we go. Yeah, that's, I, I, thank you, Dirge. I, I, I'm glad that you thought about the situation more than just, oh, I'll just stuff some ice cubes. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is taking too fucking long. Yeah, okay, yeah. Can we just uh, kick him in the pit? Right, yeah, <laughs> just the fuck up. right let's, let's Wait, fucking go, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's finally oh, back! Jesus finally Christ, back. finally! <laughs> fucking <laughs> die! Oh. <laughs> die! <laughs> die, Dick me! Oh my god! Finally, Jesus Christ! <sighs> we were standing there for like five minutes waiting to swing at you. What the fuck are you doing? Shit. I told you I was gonna go and use the loot. Oh, oh, we started a fight with the entire camp. Oh no! <laughs> right, all right. And I'm... I died. Right. Good luck. <laughs> Hi guys. Right. Yeah. Lovely. Well, cheers for the game.
Yeah, thank you, everyone. And yeah, yeah. Wednesday works for me. We can do yes. Wednesday. Yes, Digby, are you up for Wednesday or are you yep, busy? I'm up for Wednesday. We can do Wednesday. All right, we will see. Yeah, we'll do this on a chat. We'll do this on Wednesday at uh, 7 30. Yep. Yes. 7 30 sounds good. Cool. I shall see you then. Yeah, thank you, guys. See you then. Yeah. Oh, are right. any of you continuing? No, no I'm not. That'll be, yeah, you can chill out for the night. Cool. All right, well, I'm thank you again. I'm playing this thing called Lethal Company. I have no idea what it is. And you guys are. Uh, hang on. Oh, yes, Lethal Company. I do know this. Should, yeah. we, should we host him up? Yeah, yeah. Mag yeah, or Tom? Tom. I'll, I'll switch, spread him out. I'm going to host Tom. All right, I'll host Mag. Okay. All right, cool. Have a good then. night, everyone. Yeah, have a good night. Right. See you later. Bye. 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 Right. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Thank you for subbing Coed and King Descartes, Sharoto and Fallen King, and Fushi and Brodin and Vatsugify. Thank you, all of you. Before I go, please know that on the bullshittery front, I've, finger quotes, started the next bullshittery, but in reality, all that really means is I've moved some footage over and I've been sorting out the Adobe Premiere Master Folder. The game that I would like to do a bullshittery on is, in fact, Divinity 2. I'd like to continue that playthrough for we're entering Chapter 2 now and things get even more silly. So, what I need to do is I need to start going through the live streams that were recorded at the time, start making notes, essentially, and just sort of flagging, OK, that's a good joke, that's a good joke. Just generally try to uh, get the structure of it going. So uh, give me a week or so and then I'll be able to report back and say, OK, this is what I've got. Is it funny enough for a video? So that's the plan. Uh, so please bear with me. Again, I haven't done a huge amount today because I've, be I've been going through some legal documents from a solicitor. So, um, yes, I hope to see you tomorrow morning uh, for probably RimWorld, maybe. And, um, yeah. Right. Let me leave you in the company of Mag. Hang on a minute. So ZF Mag is currently doing some lethal company. I'm not sure what that is. I'll let him explain. But thank you for being here, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely evening. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you on Wednesday evening for the continuation of this game. Thank you all. This is ZF Mag. Have a good one.